Ooh, this is nice. I'm recording in progress. <clears throat> Hi, everybody. Lou is first. And Carl. Carl's almost always first. Let's see who beats. Let's see who wins. Lou. Will it be Lou? Will it be Carl? Who will be first? Who will be first? <laughs> Who's first? It is Carl. And the winner is Carl with the K. I think. Who's first? I don't see video. Ah, lose videos first. How you doing there? And first to talk, Carl. Lou got you this time. Carl's asleep. He was, he's always first, really, within one. So. Well, he was within one. I, I think you need some decaf, Susan. You're a little too excited. <laughs> I almost finished the construction at my house, so I'm excited. And the and the uh, interview that you did with Ross. Oh yeah, that was fun. Oh my gosh, that was nice. And here comes Jeff and Julie. Ding dong. I think I should change the bell to something else, but it, it does kind of sound like somebody's visiting, huh? It does, doesn't it? Did you guys hear the ding dong also? I did. No. Carl can't hear it, but Luke can. How come? Maybe I'm not paying attention. Uh, you got somebody behind you. Oh, uh, what is it? Looks like a cat. Oh, Hamilton. How are you? He spent the day with me. I was on another Zoom call for genealogy class. You ever call you ever call Hamilton Hammy for short? You ever call him Hamhead, Hamilton, Ham Hammer, Hammerhead, all kinds of stuff. Huh, Ham. Ham. I should not talk to him today. He was very talkative earlier. I don't know what happened to the other background. I had it. No, it's here somewhere, probably. You can't have this. This is chocolate. I'm being a better. Do me a favor. Mm -hmm. Let me get started. In here and show me how to get this one up. Is that Mark Edward? It is. <clears throat> I'll be right back. I'm trying to get a Carl Ulrich movie on, and she knows how to put it up there, so. Well, Hi guys. Know. Hello. Hey Jeff. Is this the last one? Yes, the world ends tomorrow. What do you mean? No, I mean, is this, uh, is this, are we getting near the end of this or uh, the project? And the, oh, that project. Oh, that, no. Uh, yes, yes, but no. We yes, should, and no. Not today. It's not trivia. tonight, huh? This is trivia. Today's, oh, it's trivia. trivia. God dang, I get yeah. them all mixed up. Sorry. I just found. I was just reviewing, I'm giving a talk about the trivia project and I was just reviewing some of the files and I discovered I had all these predictions I hadn't cataloged yet. There you go. There you go. <laughs> so the answer, Mark, the answer is yes and no. Yeah, that's the way life is. I should have known better. Okay. So I'm just gonna borrow Susan for a minute so I can get this. Okay, I randomly put one of you host in case somebody else movie. showed up. What, <laughs> who's host? <laughs> Doesn't much matter, does it? No. She'll be back in a minute anyway. She will. So the numbers have got shot up again here in Sydney. Uh, yeah. Over the fifth, uh, 1500 mark again. I've been unable to get, uh, I've been using the Johns Hopkins University uh, website and I've been unable to get it to give me the ones for the county that I'm in. It has huh. been doing it and now it isn't doing it. I don't know, but it's but it's probably more in this county than in all of Australia. Well, let's see. In all of Australia today, it's approaching two thousand. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're above that. We're probably above that in deaths. Oh, I know. Let me see if I can find it. I'm kind of physically challenged a bit, which is very frustrating. So, you know, I'd love to be.
Hey, Ben. How's it going? It's going. Yeah. We have no Susan. She's gone. He'll be back. Somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, Richard, we seem to have had in this county, um, if I'm reading this correctly, 129,000 cases and 2,535 deaths. Oh, in total, not today. <laughs> yeah. In total, yeah, yeah. I'm not. It's not giving me the daily totals, and I don't know why. It suddenly wants to only give me the 28-day running totals. Okay. Which I don't understand. It didn't do that before. Yeah, that's. Um... As the president said, what did he say? It's a plague of the unvaccinated. Yeah. There are a bunch. Who are we up to now? I don't even know. Jeff, what was that? Oh, I don't even know. I don't even know how many we're up to. Well, if you're talking about worldwide, worldwide, just... 223 million cases. <laughs> Four million six hundred thousand deaths. Yeah, they start at six. They start at six o'clock. That's Deborah. I can hear. Hey, Deborah. Hey, is that on the beach somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was. I'm in Susan's. I'm in Susan's old office. Yes. <laughs> I had the other one. I don't know what happened to it. It's on my hard drive somewhere. I'll have to find it. I'm actually just about to head out to the beach this weekend. Ooh. So, which one? Just, just uh, out to the peninsula over here in Washington. There's a nice little set of um, little seaside cabins that they've kind of Ooh. set up as a as a thing, and so yes. so going. Uh, we're getting a couple of cabins between uh, my wife and I, and then. Um, and then my brother-in-law, and then um, my wife's parents as well. So it's kind of and a who, family thing. Everyone is vaccinated. Oh yeah, everybody's vaccinated. I mean, everybody except Leon, who's three. So, you know, he can't he be vaccinated, but he he's getting tested. He probably How dare he not be vaccinated yet? Job yet. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff. Hmm? Leon probably doesn't even have a job yet, does he? Nope. Nope. Slacker. Yep. Slacker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. That fake smile on Rob's face. Oh, but he's on the beach too. All right. He's got the Ooh. motion background. Hello. Mr. Hello. Saunders is here. Wait, man. I am. Why are you here? What happened? Uh, my talk doesn't start for another uh, hour and 15, so I'm going to be here for a little while. Oh, okay. We might get to the first question by then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not really optimistic, Rob. Yeah, I know. So, so what do you, what's uh, what's the details of your talk, Richard? Are you going to give it a summary? You have graphs. What would you do? Yes. You have graphs. Pie charts. Yes. <laughs> uh, review pie charts, videos, discussion, all that. Wait, 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 wait. With discussion, are, are, do you have like recordings? Are you using yes, any yes. recordings with us? Oh yes. no! Oh yes. Yes. I, would you I like definitely... to see a preview? Yes, please. All right, this will be some of what I'm showing in my talk. Not for the benefit of those. We're going to have a recording of a recording. Uh, yeah, Ooh. that's a bit. Ooh. This might break the might, universe. It might break the universe, but. Um, it might. But somebody okay can record that. It's already been, it's already been broken. Okay, wait a moment. Um, can you all see that? Not yet. Yes. Yeah. Yep, I see it. Yeah, I, just, There's a I added a link about the New South Wales oh. annual report. Yeah. And yeah. They, did you see that? And they had struck. We see a tent. A tent in a night sky. Is that no what we're supposed to be looking at? House, but there's structure. Can't you see, can you see the video? No. no. I think it's on a different screen. Someone talking, yeah. but I don't mm -hmm. see any 
We All hear right, the it's show. Michelle. Sorry. Michelle's talking. We hear the, the audio, huh? but the background is just your uh, your, ah. probably your screen background. All right, your skeptical fairy inter, uh, angel of the internet can't here. Say any yeah. better than the rest well, the, of the, the uh, no, she's, she's on here. vacation now, so you know we know who the new one is. Let me try that again. Uh, open with. I might try a different player. Um, yeah, All right. So. Oh, we're Wait a second. Oops. I added a link about the New South Wales annual report. Yeah. And yeah. Had, did you see that? And I had struck Does that I work? break down the types of fires. Yeah, and there there's we no are. word yeah. house, but there's structure. Mm. Structure fires. Five thousand six hundred and twenty three. Mm. <gasps> Wow. 2016, 2017. Then there's wow. outdoor storage. Vehicle fires are 3,270. Wow. But, but these are not Actually, all in Griffith. Grass fires, 6,600. <laughs> I mean, all that's in ridiculous. Griffith. All in Griffith. <laughs> all in Griffith fire station. And so that just tells you how ridiculous that is. There was a city. While Sorry. enormous Sorry. changes lay ahead for Griffith, that's just what meaning is lawful. The psychic said it would be all for the better so that's just a a little example of um our, our weekly meetings to go through all the psychic predictions well we should say that there was a prediction about a house burning a house fire in griffith yeah and we couldn't originally find anything and then michelle found that report with five thousand in a year or two year period nothing sometimes unusual there. We've discovered that it's very easy to make a prediction, but years later, it's very difficult to verify that prediction one way or the other. Yes. Well, yeah, especially when it's the waffle kind. Well, but that's the easy. waffle just, kind. Yes, you just pour syrup on it. Mm -hmm. When it's local news and things like that from a certain region yeah. and you have to try and discover if there are newspaper reports, if there are right. council or, records. Or also uh, like the type of celebrities. Uh, um, let's see, Jennifer Aniston will have a change of heart this year, and she feel better yeah. than she has in years. That's that right. does not mean open heart surgery. Here's one I was looking at today, which I just entered into the database. Somebody said at the end of 2014, they said, "I for the royal family, I see a baby wrapped in a blue in blue silk, meaning there's a boy coming," which was correct. Prince George was born later that year. And then the psychic went on to say, I want to say I see two children. I don't know if it's twins, but there could be a boy and a girl. In other words, you're what? covered. <laughs> or there yeah. could not. Or and there so could only be one. So that will, goes under the uh, category of too vague. It's just, it's vague. And it's, it's covering all the bases. And it's, you know. And, and what was the one? It was something like, um, this was from last year, of course. Either Joe Biden or Donald Trump will win the American presidency. Yeah, one. Yeah, someone <laughs> made a prediction like that. Yes, the winner will be Joe Biden or Donald Trump. <laughs> Richard, um, speaking of of psychic things, are you taking suggestions for the possible future trove topics? Sure, I'm sure you can influence them. Um, I was just. Uh, you happened to mention. Oh yes, the, Jeff. Um, earlier in, in the last episode, uh, something about uh, psychics and physicists, and that made me think of Wolfgang Pauli. So he, like uh, Pauli's exclusion principle. So he had this. He was convinced of something called the Paul that is now called the Pauli effect, which he claims he claimed was that whenever he or certain other theoretical physicists would go um, <laughs> do an experiment. The experiment would fail. This is, this is taking it <laughs> far to the mechanic when it won't do the thing for the mechanic it's that it does for you. Special pleading. Yeah, that's. It seems like that, but it's. I'd just be interesting to see, um, if just articles that might have been written about it, if there are any back. Oh, that day. I would doubt it simply because it's a little bit obscure, and I don't know if it would make the main paper. Well, it's, it's it's it's. There's a Wikipedia page about it. Well, I'll have a quick look right now. I'll tell you. What's it called, Avi? Uh, I just put the link into the chat, but it's the Pauli effect. So this is not the Pauli exclusion principle? Same guy. Yeah. But different effect. Well, yeah. this is not a real effect. Okay. <laughs> well, you don't know that. Yeah. 
You know that. No, I mean, I think this is the this is like the the opposite of the uh, of the sysadmin principle, which is as soon as I get called over in order to see what something's complaining about, it's fixed. Exactly. And Jim the act of looking at their computer all the time. Yeah, well, that, the act yeah, of looking at their is computer is enough. Real. Yeah. It yeah. says here newspapers and gazettes, no results. Magazines and newsletters, no results. Images, maps, artifacts, no results. Search reports, no results. So, uh, no. Oh, well. Just maybe I, a little I too, am little amazed. Too, this has a Wikipedia too, article. Um, <laughs> what can I say it's a little too. Oh, now narrow, I got it. To too defined. Too, too um, esoteric, I guess. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not obscure. It's too precise. I'm taking. Um, Hi, Ben. Where's like oh. the kids? Are they there? Jeff, there's also the rule number one. Hi, Avi. Users love. I didn't do anything different. Hi, Bob. Hi. Hey, Rob. Oh, yeah. Saying hello to everybody. Look at that. I always do. I like seeing you guys. I'm playing this game to see you guys. I'm not game playing the game to actually win anything. <laughs> oh no! Yeah. If I played well, the game to win, I would. <laughs> if, if I played the game to win, I think I would probably like no. not come anymore because I am terrible at this game. <laughs> Why do you think <laughs> I run it? <laughs> Jeff, Jeff, do you know anything about entertainment, Jeff? Movies, uh, or things like that. You've seen a movie. I've seen occasional movies. I know, I know one, about one, specific movies. You know that gesture you just made? I know one mm -hmm. one hundred that much. <laughs> oh, what was the gesture you made, Jeff? This, oh. this much. It's, but you never know. The cat. I'm taking this genealogy class um, every Tuesday, every Thursday, and we've been doing it for uh, the whole pandemic, and we have learned so much. I've learned so much, and, and what we're doing now is. Um, we're doing homework assignments. She's assigned, there's only five of us in the class and she's assigning us different things to do. And what we did the last couple of weeks is we had to look at immigration pushes and pulls. Why do people uh, leave, leave an area? Why, why did they area? go to a specific area? And so we're learning a lot about it. I learned a lot about, uh, and we did travel. I learned a lot about the highway system in the United States. We learned about, um, railroads and next we're going to in the next few weeks we're going to do occupations that our 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 family members had so we're supposed to go and do it like like a 15 minute uh report like a 15 minute in-depth thing on something that uh, some si sort of career or thing that our family did and mine is is um the they a lot of my family members in in um, cleveland worked in foundries to make dye and Tool, tool and dye is that what it's called yeah, yeah. where they poured mm -hmm. it into a fountain and made these small mm -hmm. things i guess and yep. i i really know nothing about it but i know that my grandfather did it and i know a lot of my relatives did and then another so, one of the women in our group her family were all coal miners i worked and, in a foundry oh did you really ask them susan ask them why else stations left uh alsace in the late 1800s and moved to illinois to farm Wait, wait, I didn't hear the beginning back of what you said. The who? At Alsatians. Why did they leave Alsace back in the late 1800s? Where is Alsatians? Alsace Lorraine is on the border Alsace. between France and Germany. Oh, yeah. depending well, on what okay. period of time you're talking, it's either in Germany or it's in France. Yeah, Bob, you're, you're, yeah. Breaking, you're, yeah. you're, Bob, you're getting some buffering. Yeah, that's why I didn't quite hear. Okay, so. So I learned a lot about different things, like why people came from the the South, like North and well, Virginia and North and South Carolina. Why did they move into Mississippi, Alabama, Louisiana, and Arkansas? And then uh, uh, Mark has a whole bunch of relatives. His family all came from Norway and settled in Iowa. So you know. Yeah, well, that's that makes sense because they were following other Norwegians. That whole section of the country. Well, yes, but. Why there? Because they could farm better. Because yeah. they could farm at all. Because Norway, there wasn't very much farmland. Right. Also, it's freaking cold in Norway, and it was impoverishing. It was very impoverished. And the oldest child, the oldest male, got to inherit 
Any other males? You're out of luck. Well, it was a primogenitor. So they got pushed out. Yeah, so they got pushed out because they couldn't they couldn't mm -hmm. inherit the little tiny bit of land in Norway, and Iowa, Nebraska. They went into Nebraska too. That's warm compared to Norway. <laughs> I, mean, I have a curiosity question. Interesting. Is is this being sponsored by the LBS? No, no. It's just a it's a group of uh, our my neighbor is really 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 been into genealogy for years. Mm -hmm. I've been doing it for years too, but she's making us have fixed um you know we're doing lessons we're, we're just teaching each other but anyway my point is i'm learning a lot and i it, just in a little bit so same with trivia i learn a lot from you guys i learned so much from you well, yeah, did categories you, are so different did you just ask if it was sponsored by mormons it is a mormon thing yeah hi gene well the mormons are very big in it we get a, a, a lot of the stuff we get is because of the mormon church you know why rob yeah. So they can look up their ancestors and be baptized for them. Yeah, they gotta re they gotta baptize their ancestors. Yeah, I, I know about that. They must be oh. thrilled. No, no. Well, we know they don't care. Hi, you Jane. You would have to. You Hi. would have to ask Thomas John. <laughs> oh God. Oh Lord. Oh Lordy, Lordy, Lord, Lord. Or, what's the other one's name? Uh, Teresa Caputo. Oh yeah, she's gonna do a. She's got a special coming out on. Um, September 11th, she's. It was from Ross. Oh, and it was oh, from Ross. And the 9 11 thing. Oh, yeah, cool. she's already got a bunch. She's, it's already done. I was writing an article about it. And then I was like, I couldn't quite get my tone right. So I kept going back and fussing the article. I was not, not happy with it. And I finally said, you know what? This ain't going to do a damn thing. The thing's already made, it's already done. And, and the media in some places is already attacking her. And I just feel like, they're not calling me anyway, so. Oh, is this on her Wikipedia page? No. And I learned, I, through, I learned from Ross and Carrie that it's Caputo. 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 I don't think that's how she says it. I don't think so. She it's says Caputo. it the way she says it. Sorry, if that's the way she says it. If then she that's the way it's it, said. If she spells it J-O-N-E-S and pronounces it Smith. Then that's the way it is. Uh, but I, I wonder if they're right about that because she's Italian, and that would be Caputo. It would be she Caputo. says it's Caputo. Who's she? I don't she really is, care. I call her, her a Greek vampire, and I she's scum. So Teresa, Teresa I call her C. scum. <laughs> it's spelled luxury yatched, but it's pronounced throat warbler mangrove. <laughs> Monty Python. Hi, Kevin. What? Hi. Rob, you laughed. That was a Monty Python joke. He did. It, it was. I laughed because it was just so ridiculous. Oh, I guess look, I that's the point of Monty Python. Like, like, uh, you say you don't I like Monty gonna, Python. I thought you're going to. Some of it is light. really funny like that. Hello, Mike. Hello. Mike is here. He was going to have a. Karen is here also. Yeah, she's got. She's on mute. I'm waiting for her to come back. Deborah says she's eating. She's what? Eating. Seems a reasonable thing to do several times a day. <laughs> So they say, I've heard, people say, experts say, scientists are baffled. Non-experts all, all the time, also. baffled. Mm -hmm. Baffled. Have you heard the latest anti-vaxxer joke? Mm -hmm. What is it? I don't know. I'm afraid to ask. They never get old. Um... <laughs> Maybe you can explain that to me one of these days. Oh, Leonard was going like, to... Leonard? Yeah, that's right. It's not this oh, Okay. Richard is ready now. Ready now. Richard is ready. Yeah. There we go. Did you make a recording to send it to them, or are you doing it live, Richard? Doing it live. <clears throat> uh, this is my skeptical tie. I've been wearing for years. Ah, looks like the Joker. Or Riddler? Riddler, Riddler. yeah. Riddler. Riddle me, please. It was green. Look how professional he looks. With his little blue and dark blue background, smiley face. That's real. Cartons. Looks like Legos. Haha. <laughs> but it's sound right. thing. It's and sound, right? Material. Yeah, it's sound. It's sound stuff. But it's what Acoustic, I put around right? uh, on the wall and be around me when I'm doing the show, the recording for the Skeptic Zone. When I'm doing the Trove segment, for example. Now it's time once again to look into those pages of archives, those digitized. References at Trove, at trove.nla.gov.au, the online resource from the Australian government and the National Library of Australia. So I do that with all that stuff around me. I want him to just narrate my life. 
Call me around, Richard, and say, and now look at here. She she is opening up again. Well, I'll do that when I when I visit. She's making her scrambled eggs. Look at how she's scrambled eggs. And there she goes. She's a crazy cat lady who doesn't believe in psychics. Susan go big now. Goes back into the room and doubt that she has crazy cats. We were Ross was over. She does. Ross was here and we had one cat that just would not leave us alone while we're trying to interview. And so Ross did mention, he said something about, he says, what is, I think she said, what is, what does Thomas John say about you or something? And I said, oh, he calls me the crazy cat lady. As I was holding a cat in my hand. <laughs> Hi, Janine. Hi, Leonard. So good to see you guys. Yay. I don't know if Adrian will be here. I don't think she's uh, well. She's doing books. As opposed to just a crazy book? lady like he is, right? Uh, uh, he's half a lady sometimes you know <laughs> he's a drag he is drag. He's a drag queen yeah well, that's a very different thing and that may be queen. one of the most normal things about him yes. yeah right he i told him i contacted him through his stage name and said hey stick to this it's more you know <laughs> an, of an honorable pro profession and did he respond it is it's a, it's no he just yeah. No, it's, it just, it's, it's I mean, it's, it's entertainment. Like a, it's great. Yeah, it's it's, yeah, it's actually right. honorable. He's he can make money at it. Why have to scam people out of with bullshit? You know, yeah, it's not as much money. Oh yeah, yeah. he's not. Yeah, he's not. Oh, really, don't be he, silly, Rob. No one, no one makes a lot of money through, through psychic scams. <laughs> <laughs> There's hey, hardly I, any I harm to it at all. Mm -hmm. I know, I know how I'm going to make a lot of money. I, I've discovered this thing <laughs> TikTok. <laughs> I don't know if you heard about it, but I looked at it and it's amazing. So I put up my own TikTok video of a, one of my cats and it already got 500 hits. Whoa, I'm gonna make wow. a fortune. Hey, Richard, Richard, what's your, what's your TikTok username? Um, that's a good question. Um, put, in it the chat, is put in the chat. Richard okay. underscore Saunders. Yeah, I need to find you. I'm on TikTok. TikTok. Crazy cat lady? No. <laughs> no? Hey, I'm Susan Gerbic and there's another <laughs> one for Gorilla Skeptics. But I I've have, got two I followers have a long time. The most, the most any of my videos has is 2,200. How'd you get so, so quickly? Wow. Because YouTube yeah. or TikTok? Rob. TikTok. Oh, TikTok. Rob, do you have a cat on your video? I have a lot of, lot of cats on my videos. Well, so the first one I put nice. up, the first one I put up got nearly 500 hits. The second one's got one. I just don't get it. Maybe. Yeah, that, that's that's. Oh, one uh, second, I'll uh, give you another hit. There. Okay, let me look and see what I got here. Come on now, Susan. I can. I got the diminishing returns, Rob. Well, you know what happened um, with Isabella's TikTok thing, right? Yeah. 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 How are you turn these stupid things off? Why do they always play right? Oh, you weren't you weren't there though. She got like hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of hits on some like fifteen second um, video she did. Six, yeah, six second video or something. She's for eye rolling. Yeah. It was just, yeah she mm -hmm. made a comment to a. Uh, oh look. There's TV show. Oh. All right, Richard Saunders, there's several of them. COVID 19 Kyle vaccinated Polish. AstraZeneca. Is that you? That must be me, I think. Okay. I see Avi. He's on All right, TikTok. now you got four followers. I see the okay. skeptics on cats. this TikTok. I'm not skeptics on TikTok. cats. Can't see it, Jeff. Wh Tilt what it. is that, Jeff? Tilt it. Tilt it. It's vertical, it. more vertical. The other vertical. It's a bunch of rocks. So oh, nice. they're dice, but they're made oh, out of nice. a prismatic glass. Ooh, um, dichroic so, glass. Wow. I'm yeah. following you too, Richard, now. But what's kind of cooler is this set that I got for my birthday. These are not glowing. It's just the way the light refracts out of them. Oh, so, okay. yeah. And it's really hard to see, but it's got a stained glass effect on it. Yeah. That's cool. So those are cooler colors. I've got eight followers. Yeah. So I got, uh, I bought them for my birthday. So. I don't think I Happy birthday, Jeff. One Thanks. Second, it was just yesterday. Oh, oh happy, happy birthday, birthday. Jeff. Really Jeff. It was very I'm brave a, of you to tell us. Yeah, I know. <laughs> they might get subjected. They might get some. <laughs> they could be singing. Janine. Janine. I have um, <laughs> yeah, probably does this, a 636 probably does this once a year. Views on my raccoon video. 
the the rac when the raccoons came to visit, I put it up on TikTok and they've got six hundred. I still can't believe that you let that happen. It's just like so bizarre. You're letting wild animals roam through your house. Well, this is I've Rob, raised money, Dad. What else is new? <laughs> Rob, I don't understand the Mark problem. Lives there. Yeah. Mark lives there. Come on. Oh my gosh, Peggy says, "Oh, say, say, Peggy, tell everybody." What am I telling everybody, Susan? You told me. Oh, in in the chat. Oh, Robin can't make it tonight, and possibly in future weeks because she's a stage mom for her dog. Her dog is playing Toto in a local production of The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> awesome. So she has to take the dog to, to rehearsals and be backstage and all that stuff. Can't they put a substitute dog like a stuffed animal for a while? And then... It's not the same because everybody at these shows, they adore the live dog. So, uh, yeah. Gotta Hi, be Kyle. Toto. Hey, hey, good evening. Hello. You feel yeah. really well. She could be an EGOT winner. She could. <laughs> I don't think the dog's Hi, long enough, though. Oh. Wow. That has to be a nightmare for producers, directors. Like, what yeah. if a dog just, you know, jumps off the stage and runs to the audience? No, in the that's middle. not the no, problem. It's the dog poops on the stage. They're well behaved. They hire well, yeah. If you hear I Robin think tell it, this dog is perfect, never misses a step. This yeah. is the best yeah. dog that ever stepped on the stage. Oh, one, wow. one of my neighbors used to have a horse in a production. They had to bring Ooh. their horse into the Nutcracker or something in Boston, and they were there all season. It was like tough. Wow. And never pooped yeah. on the stage. Oh, I have no idea it. about that, but they had. And that that would be a nightmare. A horse. That's a might bigger. Be okay. That's a bigger danger. Horse with a horse. They uh, they they don't toilet train well. Although, although my dad picked up milk for one. Uh, she was a widow. She was in her. 70s and 80s and she had all her cows trained to lift their tails before they came into the barn for milking so she didn't have to clean the barn oh, wow. Wow. wow she was a witch How'd i thought it was that? very uh, clever burner, because burner. cleaning the barn was one of my chores <laughs> but how did she do that Jeannie? i don't know wow if She's I had known, I would rather have trained cows than cleaned the barn. She's a cow, a cow whisperer. She's an oh, animal psychic. Yeah. Oh, geez. Pet psychic, yeah. it's cold. Hi, Janine. I don't she think was... I said hello. Where's your chicken? chickens? I don't see chickens. Ooh. Mm. I said hey, hello, um... Janine. Janine, I didn't think I said hello directly to you, and I was wondering. You did. I... You oh, did. I, I waited. Take that back. <laughs> And Karen's it's, here too. You know, oh, the Karen. days are getting shorter. I think the chickens have already decided to head into bed. I mean, they're not going to bed, but I don't think they're out and about. They're probably going to watch television for a while. Yeah, I think I think that's what they're doing. Yeah, I had, had you had any posts on your site uh, regarding you, Richard. pet psychics? What's that, Susan? I said thank you for following. For me. who, Rob? Uh -huh. Are you asking me? Rob, Rob, who are you asking about? No, I said Kevin. Kevin. Oh, me. No, Kevin. no, nobody says anything about pets like that's that. interesting because, no. yeah, I, I like I when I when I first heard about that and I looked up, and yes, there was a Wikipedia article which I've edited a bit. Uh, it's like, really, people believe in this shit too. And my wife, who's a therapist, has had a client who takes her pet to a pet psychic, so yes, it's a real thing. And my vet advised me not to use this. Pet I trainer know. whisperer psychic up in Portland who claims he can solve all these problems because I have a dog that's reactive and uh, yeah it's like no I'm not planning on doing that anyway but well this is different than like what you know a whisperer or somebody who handles them really well no this is someone who claims they can communicate with them alive or dead so they're also mediums mm -hmm. I knew somebody once who did it and claimed to be able to do it on the phone. And so they would talk to the owner and tell them about their dog who had to be in the room, apparently. But they did it all on the phone. This guy was a lawyer and he quit his job, his paying job, to go be a pet psychic. And then he got divorced. And I don't know what happened after that. He's dead. 
So we we lost uh, Gail. She's got a meeting that she's attending. It's going on way too long. Oh. Aaron's not feeling good, so she's not coming. Oh. Isabella said she'll be here late at about <laughs> nine o'clock my time. And a college student should not describe that as late. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> she's still starting, you know. All right. Well, it's nice to have her, but I really, I, I hope at some point she stops coming and like does the usual no, college no. sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Go well, it's only <laughs> Thursday. She has Friday and Saturday. So. You mean, That's you mean, true. that with people her own age? No, yeah. we're keeping her safe. Oh. We're, we're teaching her right. So that's the way it's Yes. Safe. Listen to Peggy. What are we encouraging? <laughs> Awesomeness. Awesome. Well, Richard, real college behavior. Are you doing your talk live or did you record it? Live. live. So he'll be leaving soon. I did uh, Dragon Con, I did a pre record, but then I came on live for QA. But th this one for the Bayer Skeptics is all live. Oh, I'm regarding doing, that, Richard, he's so a I, professional. I did that too for Dragon Con and I asked if there's a way I can see a link. And they said not till it's posted. And according to Susan, that might be five years from now. Did you get any better luck? Lucky. I didn't. I did my bit and then I said thank you. And okay. I'm not going to talk I, for I'm New York City about. skeptics in a week and a half or so. And I'm trying to decide whether to do it live or recorded. Mm. Well, um, record I mean, and then you could always put it to the side if you don't want to do it. I yeah. did I did a pre record because I knew they were having troubles at Dragon Con and I knew that they, they were under, under the pump with um, hookups and running it and having their tech people not there so i thought the easiest way i could possibly the easiest thing i could do to avoid extra technical problems is give them a file and right. if our link falls over it doesn't matter i'm i can still give the talk by my the file right. as it happens they ran the file then they were able to hook up with me so it worked out yeah i i sent them i sent them the link um just in case because Power outages and also internet out outages here are not rare. And I just imagine one, one time it's going to happen when I'm trying to stream something. And if I go offline that way, at least they can call it up and just play it from where it was. Right. So I'm going to do that from now on whenever I do yeah. something. It's just but nice I spoke to have a, you're rehearsing anyway. You might as well rehearse, yeah. hit yeah. the play button. It's easy. I, I, I hooked up with Jay and Bill the other day and they ran me through the setup and it looks pretty straightforward. So I'm pretty confident it should work. Okay. So Alan's having technical problems, so he'll join in a little bit. Which means I leave, I'll leave this in about half an hour. I'll have to cut out to join up with that, but that's all right. Yeah, we'll be so fine. We should have finished naming the teams by then. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. Hi, Deborah. Now you're being optimistic. Hello. <laughs> okay, so. Well, if if uh, the last year and a half has taught us anything, it's the importance of being optimistic. Or earnest, or the earnest. Okay, so I'm gonna let you guys start since you're you're on time. I'm gonna let you guys start with your, your rooms, and then we can come back and uh, add people to your room. And so you guys get the first choice of what your room's gonna be called. Isn't that nice? what I'm doing now. Karen, are you there? So I'm just writing everybody down on the spreadsheet so I know who's on what team. Try to divide everybody up. So since there's going to be four people in a bonus tonight. I put them in separate rooms from each other. So some people like to leave early and some people will arrive late. So I'm trying to make sure I have it divided up fairly fairly. 
Right now I have Mono, Peggy, Richard, and Rob in room one, and then Ben, and that will eventually have Brian Barnes in it because he's leading the first game. So he's going to go into room one when he gets here. And then the second round, uh, second room is Ben, Janine, Karen, Carl, and then Caspian's going to be running that. I know he's running a little late. Room three is going to be run by Kevin. So Kevin's in room three, Kyle, Julie, and Jeff, and Jane. I guess Julie's on her way. Room four is going to be run by Jim Preston. So he's in here already. And then there's Bob, and he's got two accounts. So I got to make sure I have both in the same room, Deborah and Avi. And then room five is going to be run by Isabella for bonus round. She'll be here in a little bit. So it's Leonard, Lou, and Mike Wolf. Mike will be leaving early. And so I don't need to add some more to room five. Room one, I'll have to add two as well because Richard Saunders is going to be leaving to go do a talk for the Bay Area skeptics. It's really cool that he's going to, he's here temporarily to do the talk and then he'll go do his talk. And then after his talk and QA is over, he'll come back. That's great. Mm. Room two, Janine, Ben, Karen, and Carl will stay the whole time. Room three, Jane, Jeff, Julie, Kevin, and Kyle will stay the whole time. So room four is Avi, Bob, Deborah, and Jim. They should stay the whole time. So first room I'm going to add to, unless it's one of the leaders, is going to be room five and room, yeah, room five. So I have to kind of look at that and make, make my decisions as I go. It's an actual art form creating these rooms. So let's get to the screen where I'm going to be deciding. Writing down the questions. This is game 70. That's amazing. So my spreadsheet, I have all the questions from every game we've ever played. Karen, are you there yet? I wait for my computer for a second. 2021. 09. 09. And. We're not waiting for me to do a trick or something. I mean, I could do a trick. Good, but I could do one. To the ball and vase. <laughs> James Randy's absolute favorite. Okay, I'll pause this for the moment. <clears throat> Deborah, you should have come and saw Ross on Sunday or Monday. Oh, I know. I it was know. really nice. It was so much fun. You, Gosh, awesome. right you guys looked like you had a good time. We had a really good time. We went to Michael's. Caspian and Jamie joined us. Yeah. It was very good. And uh, Ross's son, Andrew, said, this is the best shredded beef, beef in my entire life. <laughs> How old is this kid? 18. Yeah, really? Ross has an 18-year-old? Ross looks like he's 18. <laughs> <I know. laughs> hey, Jim, you ready to go hey. tonight? I think I'm you're ready. Third at, I think you're third or you're fourth. Let me see. Fourth. I think we're fourth. Oh, oh you mean like he's, yeah, he's for oh, Jim's you have fourth. A, you well, have Jim's, a, uh, Jim's fourth. He's in the group four. You have to go in order of the room numbers? Well, that's how I put you in. I mean, if somebody doesn't show, Brian Barnes is first and he hasn't shown up yet. So I may skip and put. Move you know, everybody up. Caspian, Caspian's two and he's not here, but he told me he's running late. So he'll be here before his category. I don't worry about him, but. Okay, um, well, I'm all ready if you need it. Kevin's third, Jim, and then Isabella. All right, what are they yeah. doing in their rooms? Let's get him out of there. Come on now. Yeah, you can't is. have all night with them picking a name. My goodness. Yeah, they're just talking about the weather or something. So did did Alan manage to get his computer rebooted or something, Avi? 
I have no idea. Um, I probably, if I was there, I would probably be able to fix it, but gotcha. But you're not. <laughs> so I have one of my neighbors on the genealogy call. She's trying to screen share. She's got eye surgery, so she can barely see out. She has to use a magnifying lens and this huge screen she has. And she's trying so hard to screen share. She <laughs> screen shares, but she can't get the picture up to come up. And she's like, I, it's it's big. The picture's big right here on my side. I'm like, yeah, but we can't see that. We're only seeing these other things. She goes, but I don't know. It's so frustrating for her because she's she's has such issues with her sight. And I wanted to just, she's across the street. I want to just run across the street <laughs> and just go and click the button for her, whatever it was. But she was trying and for whatever reason, it didn't work. But I know what you mean. You're like, let me just do it. <laughs> All right. Oh, here's Brian. <laughs> Can I just do it? I know I can do it. Hey, Susan? Yes? Who's doing round two tonight? Caspian. Ah, he's ah. not here yet. He will be here. Okay, so that's... Tell me he's running a little that's, bit. That be going in our it. I see. Yeah, that's good. Yes. We were wondering why there was only three of us in the group. There's four yeah. of you. Well, there was ben, only Jeanine three. And myself. Oh, Karen's in your group, but she just... She, ah. she was... Oh. Wait, how did you deduce that it was round two? It's because we're in team two. We're in room two. And she oh, always okay. assigns. So who's doing who's doing a bonus? Isabella. She'll be here later. Okay. Isabella. Everybody's going to be here later. So oh. why are we here now? <laughs> why are any of us here? Is Brian, Brian, hi, Brian. You know you're up first, right? I'll be informed of me that I'm up first. Yeah. Yeah. I have the Why entire rest of trivia to make you guys not hate me anymore after my <laughs> category. Nobody hates you. <laughs> I bet you will after my category. Yourself, oh, Susan. is it? Could it be? Is it about Punch and Judy being shown in in uh, lighthouses with no nope. Roger it's about Ebert rappers. movies? It, if it'll be more efficient, I can pre-hate you now. <laughs> yeah. um, I, I don't, have a, don't stretch, Carl. Wrappers <laughs> like tortillas and yeah. egg wrappers. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. Plastic and plain brown. Yep. I have a, uh, a rule question. Already. Gorilla Skeptics is on TikTok. What the hell? Yeah, please, please like Gorilla Skeptics. I've got a couple things up there. I have a, a rules question for you. If okay, I were to do a up. category in which you had to give two answers to a question worth a half a point each would that work no 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 <laughs> now, the object is to keep it short not to so make you it would have to do different. two questions yeah make it two questions that makes it worth a full point of point yeah no we don't but want to do that then, so question two would refer back to question one and that's fine right. now that's that. possible okay thank i've you. seen that done you, you could do that all right so is there, I think everybody's here who's going to be here for a little bit. Caspian will be here shortly. So, all right, welcome everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to game number 70, seven zero. Can you freaking believe it? We were supposed to be out of this pandemic ages ago. Not that we're keeping track anymore, but <laughs> we'd probably still be doing it even if, if we were we weren't quite locked down so much. Everybody saw the president's speech today? Yeah, no, not yet. No. Not yet. I, I know. I know I, about I've it. I've read some details. It. Yeah, very interesting. Okay, so today is game number seventy, setenta, on the 9th of September, so nueve de septiembre, dos mil veintiuno, and we are going to play trivia tonight. So, leading the game tonight, in room number one is going to be Brian Barnes, who's going to be giving us a wonderful category. So we will all love him to pieces as he said game number round number two is going to be caspian who is not here at this moment but will be here soon he was running a little bit late he's probably eating uh round number three will be kevin 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 who's going to be giving us something very interesting i'm sure um Ad he ran it by adrian is that what you're doing tonight the one you ran by adrian yes i have her not her, seen it her and her husband okay so Kevin's got something very unusual tonight. Different. So unusual that Adrian, um, uh, uh -oh. he sent it to Adrian and her husband to look at and, and to see. And it's and they've worked out all the bumps and the weird things out of it. And it should it's be. just something we haven't done before. It's not that unusual. Well, anyway, she said she really enjoyed it. So 
Let's see what that is. That's what's going to have Kevin tonight. And Jim Preston, who's up again tonight for a second category of all time. Of all time. Oh, my gosh. And I promise no TV. And Oh, well, that's okay. Sometimes the TV's good. So Jim has got uh, round number four. And so that should be fun, even though he is still very new here and you guys did so good being nice to him last week, even though he did a fabulous job, it still applies. You still gotta be nice. Now to Kevin or Caspian, you know. Yeah, you guys can, can okay. shit all over me if you want. Well, yeah, <laughs> and we will, and we will. That's okay. If, it's more fun that way. If a chance. And Isabella is going to be doing the bonus. Our college student is going to be coming in a little bit later after she has some lab class. She's doing some college stuff. I don't know what mm. her thing is, but she, <laughs> she's coming in. Oh, and I saw that Rob sent her a, um, he, uh, she asked for, what was it called? Um, care packages. Care packages. Care packages. Oh, yeah. care packages. I'm and trying I, to think. What I sent her something, and and she won't get and it. And there's some chicken it. feathers. So is she going to use my care package for tonight? I think so. Ooh. So I'll, I'll ask her to tell everybody what she got. But she's. I sent her some very unusual things. So actually, I sent her a postcard, and then I sent her a box of unusual things. So, but that won't be till next week. So Thank let's you. get started with our names, and then I will fill out your rooms with a little bit more people in them as we go. So game uh, round one, room one, I should say, is Mono, Peggy, Saunders, oh, Rob, and Brian. I should mention that Richard Saunders is going to be disappearing. Whoosh, and a little bit. Just like that, he will be giving a lecture to the Bay Area skeptics on the Australian Prediction Project, which several of us have been working on for a very long time. Oh, Kelly said she couldn't make it today. And so he's going to be giving a talk to the Bay Area Skeptics, which is recorded, and we will get the, the, the link to it and make sure everybody has it for next week, because the only person who's allowed to disappear today is Richard Saunders, and he's coming back afterwards, so you will have somebody missing from your team for a little bit of time, but that's okay, we'll fill it in. So team number one, would you like to say your name? It is Lord Kelvin's Nearly Killed Darwin's Theory. And it's a fascinating article in Scientific America written by somebody in this very game. Who wrote this? Really? Really? No. Yeah, well, it, it was me, actually. Oh, seriously? <laughs> Can you put the link in? I'd like yeah, to Yeah, I'll put it yeah. in. It appeared this week, so. Oh, wow. awesome. oh, there it is. Oh, my goodness. We it's need a, a happy I, I happy haven't read your article, day. but it's a fascinating story. Scientific yeah, yeah. American. Damn! Congrats, you just took it up a notch, awesome. man. That's awesome. Thanks. Awesome. awesome. Congratulations. Jeez. One more step towards the Wikipedia page for you. Yeah, a little bit. It's closer. about time <laughs> Scientific American got some good Actually, offers. this is... <laughs> <laughs> at the, at the yeah. end of that article, there's a link to an earlier Scientific American article I published last year. I, I didn't tell you guys, but... Oh! oh okay. What was that? What was that Holding about? out on us. <laughs> I know for real. You're supposed to share that with us. That this is it, that was about why falsification is not um, is a myth that scientific theories don't get falsified, and uh, yeah, it's not not a perfect. Uh, I have to read that. Uh, character not a, not a perfect characterization. Anti popularism. Uh, Popper's version of uh, falsification. Yeah. yeah. So that's yeah. the link to that can be found at the end of the link to this article. So if you're interested. Oh yeah, of course. How many people do we know are published in Scientific American? I know Isabella one now. should be reading this. <laughs> She'll be able to go, oh, sorry guys. You know, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna just ask my friend who's, a, who's, who's publishing in uh, Scientific American for his expertise on this subject. So he told me this, you know, I think it's great. Okay, I'm, I just put it up. Argument from authority. Yeah, yeah. argument from authority. Pretty bad. I just know a little bit about a little bit, so don't. You don't need to know that. For almost all of us. Okay, I'm posting it on uh, Monterey County Skeptics and on um, here. So fantastic, fantastic news. Okay, so that's room number one. Lord Kelvin nearly killed Darwin. Room number two. <laughs> 
Oh, Darwin's <laughs> theory. <laughs> oh, oh. I, I, I like Susan's version. Right. 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 Guys, you don't know. It cut off on here. It's I'd like to read that article, actually. <laughs> the Agatha Christie version. <laughs> yeah, I, I heard. I heard about him the? almost killing Darwin's theory, yeah. but not the more personal view. One of them had a net, and the other had a trident. If you want a personal murder, that uh, this would get well. a lot more views if you left the last word off. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I think you should yeah, write that one and call it the Alfred Hitchcock version. Yeah, back at the Christie, that would be so much more. Yeah. Okay. Well, so they, that's an interesting story about Wittgenstein took a poker in Bertrand Russell's room and almost threatened to hit Karl Popper with it. Mm. Oh, po poker. Polka. Po uh, polka. A oh, poker. Oh, poker. I thought you were saying polka. <laughs> He's trying to pop with a polka. Popper's <laughs> poker, yeah. He uh, almost popped with a polka. Okay. Oh, here comes Alan. He did make it. He did make it. Okay, I'm going to put him in this room over here, Alan. So, room number two, which will no longer be room number two, will be led by Caspian when he finally gets here. It, it is Ben, Janine, Karen, Carl, and Cosbad. God bless the Satanic Temple. Uh, what did they do today? Ooh. Well, their, their proposal to try and make the abortion pill uh, part of their religious ritual essential to the pre free practice of their religion <laughs> to try and undermine the Texas. Uh, I love them. On abortion. <laughs> I love them. That's awesome. <laughs> this is why I joined them. Cool. <laughs> Good old Satanists. I am a card carrying member for the last year. So, uh, did you guys see the uh, the thing that Rachel Maddow put out about the what is his name, Lawrence Tribe? The lawyer had did in that. Um, I'll, I'll tell you a minute. Okay, so we'll never get anywhere if we if I if I keep it on. All right. So. <clears throat> God bless the satanic temple. Yes, absolutely. I like the God bless. It's really good. Jane, Jeff, and Julie. Is Julie here yet? Oh, Julie actually, unfortunately, has to work tonight. So oh, she's... well, take her off of there. I want her to be here. So how dare she work? My goodness. Uh, I'll see if I can get her to come into the later rounds. Okay. Jane, Jeff, Kevin, and Kyle. Who are you guys tonight? We are. Huh? <laughs> fluid what? dynamics i like that i like that we are huh? <laughs> what is that huh? fluid, fluid, fluid dynamics? dynamics fluid dynamics fluid dynamics F phonetically there you go fluid dynamics. oh okay. i'm looking forward to studying fluid dynamics at the pub at the pub when this lockdown's oh, over. I know. oh yeah I many, 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 many many fluids My many. Take drinking <clears throat> So you're, what's the story the behind phonetic, that? Why, why the phonetic spelling? Yeah, if you're doing it phonetically, though, why did you use a PH instead of an F? Because it's anti-phonetic. Because oh. physics is fun. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was physics or fun. <laughs> F because you win. Okay, so next one is room four. This is Avi. Bob, Deborah, and Jim Preston, led by Jim Preston, round four today. What is it? Feudal, photo, fiddle, faddle. So this is photal being um, the abbreviation of free men on the land. Mm -hmm. so I was a oh. motivated to do this from uh, the latest Skeptic Zone. Yep, good, good, uh, good report. Aren't they crazy people? Oh my gosh, uh, those are Robbie crazy. Menard is still at it. Total. Menard is just nuts. Fantastic. Fantastic feudal. What is battle. this skeptic zone you speak of? <laughs> what is it? F O T S L stand for? Freeman Free On the Land. No, F O T L? Freeman on the land. Freeman. Freeman oh, is one word. Okay, Freeman is one word. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I read a story about that from our uh, the late reporter Shirley Stockin when wrote, yeah. wrote a wonderful piece about Freeman. That was very good. It was so, yes. it was so funny. She was great. She was yeah here. yeah uh, and she she named you as a uh, right the way she said your name that's was she, she, that was funny Richard of the Richard Saunders, Saunders. <laughs> Richard Saunders <That's> funny. <laughs> that was funny so last but not least which aren't really last is Leonard Lou Mike and Alan you will be on this team 
Team five, what are you called? Oh, you got it. Go ahead and read that out, Mike. Smarty the Matrix up. Resurrections. Oh, I thought it was that the other That other name one. is just a joke name that I made up. Oh, based oh. Based on just because you're going <laughs> to ask me to say it, right? He's just, right? he's just messing with us. Matrix, <laughs> Matrix Resurrection. Resurrection. Oh, is that the name Matrix of number? Is that the name of the new one? Yeah. 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 The trailer is now online. I, I watched the first two minutes and I said, oh my God, this actually looks good. I'm not going to watch the rest of it because I don't have <laughs> spoilers. So the t game, the the first game, uh, the first name that Mike put in the chat was Carl Sagan kidnap Avocados mm -hmm. hypothesis. Avocados hypothesis. Yeah, avocado. Yeah, he went to the Mexican restaurant for that. <laughs> <laughs> avocado. avocado number that gives you a avocado. avocado. <laughs> All right. The number of so the number of atoms in a any particular vegetable is Avogadro's number. Avocado. Well, that math thing that you guys showed me the other day i watched the video where it's where it's like if it's plus you add you divide it if it's an even number you add plus one and then you divide oh, it by oh, three yes, or whatever yes, yes. that was so stupid <laughs> i mean my goodness why 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 did anybody come up with a formula like that i mean it's like because discoveries like that are what make all of modern life possible. No, that was just it's, silliness. It it's was mathematically like, interesting. No, it was not interesting. It was Susan, <laughs> Susan, the fact that you don't find it interesting doesn't mean it isn't interesting. What's and it as I said, things like that are what make all of modern Look, life possible. Why did possible. you? Why did right, you? Susan, so the point like, is, if you were a mathematician, you wouldn't spend your whole career on it. Let's, right, that's yeah, it. but why didn't what, you just what was do this plus formula? 27? And not what do you expect coming from a cat lady? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you guys, I'm serious. It just looked like somebody came up with gobbledygook and said, let's figure this out. Let's spend the rest of our lives figuring this out. Oh, look, it looks like a tree. Oh, look, it's little seashell. It's like, it's like. The so, way Susan, what if it saying? looked like a cat? Would you have interest in it then? <laughs> it was like, Why? It's it's because it's interesting. No, it was a it was a mathematical formulation that they came up with and they made the rules. Avi, it's about the cobalt like, conductor. Why? Oh why? Yeah. Why, uh, yeah. Why those rules? Why those numbers? Why not other numbers? Because they, other they numbers are as interesting. That in the video, why those numbers is because it comes up with something that is interesting, and that has this this property that nobody knows the answer to yet. The answer is there is it's infinite. It's infinite. Not to Susan Gerbic. It just right. seemed like forget it. If I okay. want to draw a tree or I want to draw a kelp forest, I can do that. I don't need a mathematical equation to draw it for me. Right, but if you but if you want to be able to um, design or uh, figure out how computers work, you need to understand things like that. No, yeah. to be honest, the particular work, problem, we haven't figured it out. The particular Kolatz conjecture problem is not as interesting as what we what we anticipate the mathematics that will be developed in order to solve it. But is, I mean, is what is this? What are we talking about? The Kolatz conjecture. The Kolatz conjecture. There's a, a nice Veritasium uh, video yeah. Yeah. Uh, about it. Somebody put Came the formula recently. in the chat. Somebody just link the video for the people. Somebody should either, either link the video or put the and formula in the chat. The formula is, is incredibly boring. It's yeah. 3K plus one. Yeah. Why it's, isn't it 3K it's, plus five? Because yeah, that, there's, there's, other, there's other versions of it. Are you like trying that. to say all numbers it's, matter, Susan? <laughs> <laughs> and that was a build up for all. Of, thank you, Carl, for coming in on cue. Thank you. Now let's switch to the game. Yeah, I'm Nobody better be doing math. What's your team? Wait, look here, at Susan. I've got, I've got a mathematical trick you can do with your friends. If you take any number, and multiply it by two. And then if you divide by two, you'll get your original number again. Oh, <laughs> I, can I don't believe that. Does that count. work every time? Works every only, time. No, only sometimes. Burn the witch. <laughs> Has anyone proved this? Yeah, I want to see a proof of that. Yeah, I don't know. Not, uh, uh, not if doesn't... the cat women are doing the math. Uh, it works yeah, as long Leonard as the characteristics, says, not two. If we want to understand computers, we need to understand this mathematical formulation. You, know, you, need, to going... be able, you need to be able to appreciate questions like that. 
I computers work already. And I don't I appreciate them already. I appreciate my computer. I don't need to understand that. And already. and the and the fact is it is not necessary for everyone to understand and appreciate these things. There are much better things. And I can't believe we've wasted a whole five minutes on this already. Just you don't have regular to know how problem. You have wasted a whole five minutes on it. We could be talking about caps. Or something you don't have to know how a combustion engine works if you can turn a key and drive. I was stalling, mm -hmm. and now Caspian's here. But someone right, needs let's to go. Right. Yeah. For real. Right. <sighs> Guys, frustrate me. Fine. Yes, I agree. Fine. It is frustrating. It's stupid. There is no answer to it. It's obviously there's no answer to it. There will never be an obviously. answer. Obviously. And that's it. Obviously. Uh, because Susan is so good obviously. at math, she can just tell you. Boom. Yeah. Seriously. All right. Hi, Kev, Caspian. Caspian, you are going to be on. Where is he? Oh, hi, Karen. She's finally back. Hi, Karen. Hello. Karen, you are on. Oh, Karen and Caspian, you're both on the same team. God bless the Satanic Temple. <laughs> Have we started? Oh, yeah, we're about to we're, start. Right we're now. ready for you. No. We were talking about an obscure mathematical problem for the last 20 minutes, I think. No, it's, yeah. not. it's not very obscure problem, seeing as there is a million dollar prize available if you solve it. And we're not done. I just learned Let's about it. Let's get the psychics working on it. So you, Kyle, you didn't know about it? Much yeah, I'll, I'll, define, it, I'll define it obscure as a very tiny percent of the general populations have ever heard of it. Wait, what? Kyle, do not that? waste your time on it. Oh, Jamie's here. Awesome. I will anyway, find moving along. In my category. All right, Rob, which question is that? I'm going to, I don't know. What, what? Okay, what, what? Brian, I need to give you the power. Where are you? There's your power. Brian Barnes, everybody. Yay. What, yeah, what? Give us your category so yeah. we can boo you, and then uh, right. Jack's gonna, gonna silence everybody. My category? Don't we have to boo him politely? No, you can uh, his, however Yeah, because he's kind of not done a lot. I'm very sensitive. Um, <laughs> my category is rappers' real names. Oh, 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 we had some of these, you guys, sort of. Maybe um, you. Oh, crap. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is this rap you speak of? <laughs> yes, exactly. All right. Go for it. Okay. So... <laughs> There's just 10 names. And we're going to be able to figure this out, right? Yeah, mute uh, everybody before it shouts out all the answers. Two, you can log You'll need to unmute, Brian. Great. Good job. I got it. So I'm going to give you just a person's name, and you have to tell me their rap name. What you guys are going to love that? it. You're this going to get fast. so many right. It's going to be great. All right, first one. <laughs> it's going to be easy. Is it easy? Yeah, I mean, no. <laughs> Rob's going, smoke's coming out of Rob's ear right now. <laughs> okay, first one. Number one, Calvin Brodus. Calvin Brodus. And I hear I'll type him in the chat as we go. Yeah, because I need to visually see the name. Otherwise, right. You know. Second one, Andre Young. Andre Young. Third one, Curtis Jackson. Are you telling me that Curtis Jackson couldn't have a career as a rapper with his real name? No, I'm sure he could. <laughs> I'm sure he could. Curtis! I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure there are multiple rappers named Curtis Jackson too, but there's one really famous one. Okay. Yeah, I guess I suppose I should say these aren't obscure rappers. Like maybe one or two are like pseudo obscure, but I'm from Kansas and I've heard of them. They're so. better known than the Kolatz conjecture. Uh, many of them, <laughs> yes. I would put like good, big money on that bet, Leonard. That's the standard for hip hop, <laughs> right? <laughs> O'Shea Jackson. O'Shea. Uh, oh, there's five? another Jackson. What's up with the Jacksons? Well, it's just there's five. Of them. Oh yeah, that makes there's five. No, Tito will not be appearing in this puzzle. Oh, um, he's a rapper. Aubrey Graham. Keep in mind that I am on your team, so. 
it's always nice because you know I will always be mm. on your team. Susan, since, it, since Richard, something I might know. Richard's leaving for a while, so if Isabella shows up, can you put her on our team, please? Like right now? Yeah. <laughs> Isabella! Bella, where are you? <laughs> no, no save back us, save us, Isabella. Number, number six, I'm taking too long for this to be just names. Kendrick Duckworth. No, definitely that's a perfect name for a rapper. Right. Uh, number seven, Talib Green. Number eight, Dennis Coles. Oops, not star. Number nine, Tariq Trotter. Actually, that sounds pretty good. I know it is a good name. Tariq. Why would you change? Are, are all of these people currently living? Uh, How many times let me look at my list here. Yes, they are all alive. That's, that's beyond the odds for rappers, I have to say. Well, I picked pretty famous rappers. So, like, I did, I would have put Tupac on the list, but you guys all know him. And then, um, let's well, we see. don't know his name, though. His name is Tupac. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's some a, of them are well known because they're dead. He's a hockey player. Some rappers are very well known because of their death. Okay. Sean Carter, number 10. Sean Carter. Okay. That's 10 just random names that you would see in a phone book, but they are also known by much more popular and mainstream names. So that's all right. That's really, the other gave the me, other, op, the other option for this to choose from from the answers, I still wouldn't get any of these. Um, I am so missing Brian. lighthouses and punching Judy Lou. Right. Go ahead, Brian. What? All right. What do you? What do you? Are you ready he for said, me to send you? said something that there was some follow up. Oh no! I my the other option for this was going to be a true or a false whether or not the rapper was in Wu Tang Clan because there are nine members of the Wu Tang Clan. So maybe we'll do a bonus category one day for that. There, so everybody, all right. Up the Wu Tang Clan names. Good luck, my team. I got to go. I'll see you all. Okay. After. Wait, wait, wait. You're if you know any of the answers, uh, text I, I, have no <laughs> I, I didn't think you did. Goodbye. Good luck. It's going to be a foregone conclusion, Rob. Somebody, there's going to be somebody here somewhere that is the ringer for this, and it's not Brian. So. Isabella. It's going to no, be low. One of you, you guys knows. Promise. I'm curious. You made, who's promise. you made us promise not to hate him, but I'm, <laughs> I'm struggling with it. I'm promising okay. meant to be broken. Here comes Alan. <laughs> He's got this. Watch. Okay. Where, where is Alan's going over to? So was this actually uh, group category one? Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you. Alan, you are going into this group that I can't remember how to pronounce right now. Caspian, you are going to go over to your, which is God bless. Right. The I won't be health. there for, I won't be there for too long for, uh, I'm just going to duck out for me because I don't know a thing about this subject anyway. <laughs> oh, you'll be all right. Come on. You may be the ringer. Yeah. All right, Brian, you can move from room to room now. Just okay. Spend a little time in your own room because that's being recorded as soon as I get there. Sorry, sir. Little, there is a guy called Lil Wayne. Put yeah, him Brian, on all Brian, 10. Brian, <laughs> you, you shouldn't be here, not only because you're going to get a lot of hate, but, but because you can you can watch this video, this later, this room, because Susan's here. So okay. you won't be able to see the other room. So okay, I would suggest I'll move around. Go, yeah, I'll move go around. Go. Okay. He's starting with his own team so he can appreciate how shit. And we're going to start with a zero for the first time ever. <laughs> hey, we got one Lil Wayne. Put him on every spot. The what? Little Wayne in every spot. I don't, well, how, about, how about Snoop Dogg? Snoop Dogg little might be in every spot. Okay, put Snoop Dogg and Little Wayne every. Other I don't know spot. who Little Wayne is. Is that a person? Yeah. No, it's a rapper. <laughs> I'm disappointed, by the way, and I wish Brian were still here that there aren't any female names. On I would just to say that there's oh. not a single female rapper. Well, maybe Unless, they, are. they just have unusual real names. I think there are female rappers. I'm pretty oh, sure. Oh, I'm Cardi sorry, B. Peggy. Would you have Cardi B? Yeah, right? Cardi B. Cardi B. Megan Cardi B. Italian. I would have got all those, of course. Uh huh. <laughs> That's no. next week's trivia. Female rappers. But Sean hey. is Sean a female name or a male name? S H A W N. It's male. That's male. How did he spell it? Was it S H A W N? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Well, all the Shans are probably men. So Sean Tariq Trotter. 
Now, is one of these, you know, there's a white, there's a white rapper. Eminem, 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 Eminem. Oh, his name is, his real name isn't one of these. I, I would have recognized that. I've heard okay. of him. He's Does Mike he have like a court like case or something? Again? He's what? He's what? Eminem Michael's has been arrested, so I've seen his real name. In okay, there. so but Mano said what it was. What was it, Mano? It was um, Ma Michael. It was kind of a real vanilla name, Michael. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's not one of these. Ah, uh, vanilla. Ah, uh, because uh, he's a white rapper. I get it. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> Susan, don't you don't know Calvin? That. Calvin brought us. I, I swear we know who that is. You might. Once. Oh. <sighs> Okay, so let's name some rappers. We, we got, got Little Wayne. We, we got three. And who's the other one? We got Snoop Dogg, Little Wayne, and Eminem. Eminem's not on here. And, and Eminem's not on there. His so. name is Mich Michael Mitchell or something? Yeah, something like that. Oh, that could be where it's so, from. Huh? So Eminem, Eminem is not in there. And it isn't M and M like the candy. <laughs> it's oh. E H. E M I N. Oh, oh. Eminem spelled out phonetically. Oh, e wait a minute. I know, I know, I know one. I know one. What's his name? The actor. Uh, Men in Black. Um, Ice Independence Cube. Day. Ice Cube. Ice Cube? Oh. No. No. He, come on. It's not coming to me. No, he's a big actor. He's in like 25 million movies, blockbusters. And Independence his kids Day. Rappers. Men in Black. His kids I, know, I know who you're talking about. Um, he's not a rapper. Yeah, he is. He started he's a, as a rapper. His Fresh Prince of Broadway. Yeah, and, and, oh, and he would, oh, he's yeah. a rapper? Yes. Oh. Yes. In fact, every movie he's in has a new song of him, something in the movie he usually plays over the end credits. That is... Um, Including Men in Black. There's a Men in Black rap song, which he sang. Why can't we remember his name, though? Because uh, I'm just... Uh, I know exactly. Uh, Will, Will Smith. Will, thank you. Thank Will you. Will Smith. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Will is Smith. that possible that Will Smith is not his real name? No, nah, oh, that doesn't make sense. No, <laughs> his name is yeah. way, Little right. Wayne. Is I think just to be pedantic, Little Wayne is L I apostrophe L, Lil, Lil, L I apostrophe L. Never ceases to amaze me. Lil Showing Wayne. what he's little we know. know, we're gonna get right what little we know. <laughs> and I think dog is two G's. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I just said that. I don't know. I want to look like I knew. What, what about Ice Cube? Ice Cube is a rapper. Oh, uh, that's good. How about Ice T, right? Is there Ice T? <laughs> yeah, there Ice T. No, he, he there is. Actually. Yeah, yeah. Is there Ice T? Yeah. yeah ice, with a, no, not with just a letter T. Oh, this guy's always have to be unique. Ice T or Ice T? Is it Ice, ice T or Ice T? One of them's on Law and Order. Is it Ice T? How about Mr. T? Not a rapper. <laughs> And I like watching the TV, sh uh, the, the oh. MSNBC show, um, or is it CNN? Who, uh, the guy who does The Beat. He's always Very calling numbers. rappers. Yeah. Always. And I never know any of them or have. Sometimes so, he brings rappers on and they talk about like the news and stuff. They're very eloquent. They're uh, spoken. I still have no idea who they are. Is The Weeknd a rapper? He's famous. Uh, the Weeknd? Yeah. Don't know. Never heard of it. Uh, weekend. This isn't helping us any, you guys. Or, 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 is this, <laughs> or is this spelled like that to be unique? The I think it's just weekend without or the hyphen. The weekend. How about that? <laughs> no, weekend, as in Friday to Sunday. Well, you got it. There you go. Well, none of them seem to want to spell like right. He's, so he's been on Saturday Night Live. Apparently, the Snoop Dogg guy has got two G's, according to Susan. <laughs> yeah, he has two. But you know, does he really? <laughs> Yeah, not only funny, it's hard to find 10 names, but we, we'd have to match these. Then we have That's, to match them. It's easier if we only had two names, you guys. Yeah. At least probably. Yeah. Right, right, right. All right. I want to take the chance of getting one right and just put one of these names that we're pretty sure about on every one of them. Because I think I that's said. the thing we're going to do. Or just do Snoop Dogg and Lil Wayne and just and go every other one. Go every other then, one? Then oh. we could miss them all because we did Yeah, we could. Ones. We could get a zero. Yeah. Okay, so do you guys want to go with a for sure one? Yeah, who's a for sure one? Who's going to be a for sure one here? I'm going to say Snoop. Okay, Snoop. Snoop. Dog. All right, so Snoop Dogg is everyone. <laughs> because he deserves it. He's been around forever and he's cool. Yeah. So, so when we come back, we have to come back with a straight face. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> That's no rule. I didn't read that in the rule book. 
<laughs> how, many, how many of you were in my group last week for Madonna? We had the same problem. None of us knew any Madonna songs. Yeah, that was that was my group, and, and Did I was doing it. Zero this. or a one? I screwed us. Yes. Yeah. How many? Yeah, yeah, yeah like, you you are the one who had the Madonna category. My group had zero knowledge about Madonna. Wait, you guys came back with? Let me look. Like a virgin. I think we got four. We might have got no, four. No, my group got one. Okay, no. so did you put virgin. one down right every time? No. No, no, we didn't put like a virgin for everyone. We didn't sink that low. We just went, <laughs> we picked one that we thought was most likely. You didn't sink that as low as we did tonight. And you <laughs> had Caspian, Deborah, Jim Preston, Kyle, Mono, Kelly, and Mike Wolf. And they knew one. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. It was one, <laughs> five, seven, eight, and ten. That was a huge and split. And somebody came up seen. with ten. Yeah. Isabella, yeah. Jane, Jane. That, e, that was Karen's Randy group. Bob. That was hilarious. Karen knows her music. She sure does. Where is she now? <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Yeah. I wonder if she knows rap. Uh, interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, I I know one person's going to know this. So. I swear. I I remember. I'm old enough that I was around when rap first became something that you would hear. It's like, I don't know exactly when it was like percolating, but they started playing the rap and I go, that'll never last. <laughs> it was like 1975. Yeah, I, know. <laughs> I have, I have yeah. almost all of the Sugar Hill Gang song memorized. The first rap album of ever a song. Oh. Hip hop, hippity hop, hip hip hop hop, <laughs> and don't stop the rock and don't. I, 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 I could do it now if like they were singing at the same time, but. I had it all memorized. It was like 1982 or something again. All right. So I think we've done really good, team. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see if anybody else is back. Oh, we can go see, back and have bragging see, rights see, being yeah. done first. You should get one. <laughs> all right. Good job, team. I'm yeah, great. Right I, I, I give it 50 50 that we get a point. We'll see. <laughs>
one, four, two, one, three. So I'm predicting <laughs> that the God Bless the Satanic Temple is going to win this round. Uh, four, but Wait, with I four thought Karen, Karen is likely to know this. So which, how much? She's on the know? Satanic Temple one. And she got, how many are you assigning them? Four. four. Do you four think there might be more? I have no idea. Well, how well do you think Karen, it's Karen and Jamie. You know what? I'm going to give them. Okay. Because, yeah, I think that maybe they could do that. Okay. Should we call them back now since we? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. All right. <clears throat> <laughs> we have one answer that we're sure of and one answer that we're, we're possibly. Wow. And then nothing else that we, and then we're just random. Oh, guesses. come on. It's a lot easier than you think. Yeah. Once you figured it out. Oh, my God. We had no actually, problem. We figured one. out a lot of things. Once you figured it out, yeah. It was was all there right. a pattern? I, uh, if you didn't find it, we couldn't find it because none of us knew more than a few more than one of the answers. Oh. Well, just watch, dude. Watch oh. and watch and learn. We got really lucky because in Mano's Scientific American article, he closed out by talking about all these rappers. <laughs> Ryan, good category. <laughs> Hi, Miles. <laughs> sure. Miles disappeared. He was there and then he's gone. He's there yeah. and he's gone. So Great I need to category. choose between doing a category of masses of elementary <laughs> particles and um, and diameters of uh, asteroids. Was this a? I just have a. I might be <coughs> left here. Is this just a ploy not to ever be asked to do a category again? Audio, <laughs> audio was bad there. I couldn't hear you, Bob. I can't hear you, Bobby. But um, your audio is breaking up. Well, I bet you got a ten on this one, right? Trivia. <laughs> Avi, did you get any of these? I got one of them. Get out of here, really? Okay, yeah. so everyone's back, right? Wait, here comes Jamie. Everyone I think back? we did respectable. We Wait, guessed Susan. Susan, we when guessed. do you when do you expect Isabella? I made adjustments to this category when I saw Isabella wasn't here to make oh, it easier. Well, thank you. It's a good <laughs> more famous I rappers. It. <laughs> it's a good thing you said they're all alive because we would have put three you, you have a in. ghost appearing and disappearing next to you, Brian. Ooh. Yes. Yes. He's, He's very friendly. So you know He's phasing in and out of the Casper. Is that Casper? <laughs> all right. We're ready. We are so ready. Oof. All right. Can you put them in the chat because we weren't exactly sure how to spell all of them. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to dock you on spelling. Okay. okay thank you. I want to make sure I get the right thing. So make sure you. We, and we're not going to tell you how we spell them. How's that? <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> all right. Right. Number one is a two and a half meter lens. <laughs> right. so number one, Snoop Dogg. Yes. Yeah! yeah. Whoa. Get a point. Yay. Get Yay. off the bat. Snoop D O W G. Did we lie at some point? That's good. Yes, he was at some point. So it wasn't a shutout. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> Number two, Dr. Dre. Oh, 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 oh yes. Yeah, yeah well done, Ben. Oh. Woohoo! Well, there's a Dre in the name. It has he doesn't to be. actually rate the title, but yeah, it's fine. He's not really Number a doctor. Three. Uh, Curtis Jackson is Fitty. Fitty Ooh, Sims. Oh, is that what we put, Susan? Is Good that what we put? It, yes. Fitty. Yes. Oh, we, right, almost, Mono. we almost right. had it and we changed it. 50 oh, Cent. Number four. Oh, O'Shea did. Jackson, better known as Ice Cube. Yeah. Oh, oh, we yeah. had that on our oh, list. Peggy well done, got that Rob. one. I'm glad we went with what Peggy said. because yeah. 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 I heard somebody say the name sounded Canadian. For number five, it's Drake. Yeah, yeah, we got that oh, one. Yeah. That was easy. Because we had asked yeah. a similar question a few weeks ago. Simple. <clears throat> Six, uh, Kendrick Duckworth is actually Kendrick Lamar. Oh, good That's job, Susan. True. Yeah, thank you. I didn't know that yeah. was a rapper. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on. You yeah, should that be was... able to stuff. I thought he was just a Kardashian. No, oh. his name was a clue. Yeah, we got that. Yeah, That's Kanye no West. Uh, yeah. Yes, that's I'm Kanye. I was thinking that, but uh, I didn't know that he was a rapper. <laughs> Okay, number seven, Talib Green is Talib Kwali Green. Of yeah, of course. Of course. That was I'm awesome. not sure how get that we one. spelled it. Did we spell it right? Yeah, I have not even heard of Rob, yeah. Did you spell that right? I think so. It doesn't matter. Yeah, maybe we go. I, I left the first name a little bit with it's the It's close. Yeah, it's close. All right. Dennis Coles, better known as 
Ghostface Killer. Oh, damn. What? Yeah. Damn. I've heard of him. <laughs> but Peggy, I have no idea that was. I know Peggy got that one. That was how, the Wu Tang connection. Peggy know these things. Uh, I should make You don't know everything about Peggy. I got, I got nieces you. and nephews, man. They they teach me shit. Mono, how do you know all the things? Mono, man, I tell you, this guy is the depths of mono. You would just. I would um, be embarrassed. Number nine, to go, Tariq Trotter. A name like that. <laughs> Tariq Trotter is my favorite rapper, Black Thought. Of oh, mine too. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God. You I guys have to see that one. That one but Rob knew that, fortunately. Yeah. Come on, no ODB. Oh, I love ODB, but he's dead. Oh, he that's these are all live people. So yeah. You got to get a dead rapper. Dead. My guy, Black Thoughts. Yep. <laughs> and number 10, Jay Z. Yeah, Yay, of course. Of course. Damn. Damn. Wow. Of course. Would, you, would you have accepted Beyonce's husband? Absolutely. <laughs> oh, Absolutely. Wow. I would have, so, I would have, I would have accepted Solange's today? brother-in-law. I mean, why, come on. Why all, why all men, by the way? Do we have another category coming up with uh, female rappers? There's only okay. like two, I think. Because, I don't know. I it's think not very, very many of them. Because mono. Well, was there's like, plenty now. No. These are. I just came up with this category about mm. 20 minutes before trivia. Name started, one so. famous female rapper. Cardi B. Yeah. Megan Thee Stallion. Yeah. Yeah, see, yeah. see? We, got go we got them all. We got them all. We got them all. Okay, so awesome. So what I did is I just, you know, my team and I, because we were back so early, we were we were first back, by the way, by many minutes. Yeah. And um, we we guessed what the scores were for you guys based on who's in the room. So I'm really <laughs> curious what the real score was. So I'm going to uh, share my screen as you... Um, as you as you do your scores and you can see why I thought who got what when where how and why so I just just saying I think it's interesting oh you have predictive scores in there yeah. I predicted your yeah, scores yeah, yeah. Let me it's at least that. as interesting as the Colots conjecture <laughs> <laughs> only barely oh that's a little too close okay so we figured out that um, God bless the satanic temple would have five we got one more than that whoa Shit, I'm impressed. I'm, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Okay, good job, guys. Uh, whatever. Full dichotomy. <laughs> Why only I, two? I said two. We got five. Two. Six. Okay, and the fiddle faddle group. How many did you got? I said one. Okay, you're right. <laughs> yeah. Got, uh, yeah. Good predicting. <laughs> And Matrix He's a psychic. I said three. What? Mike? Mike? No, Mike? we got six. Six? Oh. six. Yeah, who, one. Who's the, huh? Who's the expert in that group? Mike. I think Lou and Landed are. <laughs> Mike. Leonard, Leonard got Jay Z, and I got uh, the other five. And Snoop Dogg, I sat Dr. here and Dre. twiddled my thumbs. Wow. <laughs> So we had the massive score of one. <laughs> and we did that because we put Snoop Dogg on every category. Yep. <laughs> did that was more fun than getting them all right. Yeah. Did you we had, did you we you had Lil Nas X for seven, eight, and nine, but <laughs> that strategy's not so pan out for us. So did we, Mike. Yeah, we did the exact same thing. That's hilarious. <laughs> Good job. So we got we did and he good. wasn't even an answer. I'm shocked, shocked, I tell you, shocked there were teams that got five and six. Except for the team I did predict would get five. Got six. Wait, so Here. Peggy and Mono didn't why, actually... Why did you predict we would get six, get five? Because I felt that Jamie and Karen would know them. Oh. And was I right? Karen, Karen was good. Yeah. Karen did Jamie knows them too? Alan had one. I guessed one. Yeah. I said, I, I, said, said, one. I, I, said I, I knew uh, one. Jamie, how did, did Jamie? Wait, my dad had one? one. Yeah, the guy <laughs> from Canada. It's a oh, French sounding name Wait. from Canada. Dad, you knew what Drake was? I didn't know. <laughs> it was, was, was a question on Drake. It was Drake an, is a male. It was an explorer. Rock. I remember it from junior high. <laughs> yes, yes, the rapper Sir Francis Drake. <laughs> Remember the question we had about some building in Toronto or something like that, and it was something to do with 
a famous rap, a famous person's photo being hung up or something like that. Oh, yeah, Freak. something from his views know. album. So, Good yes, God, so to, to Brian, answer, I, I'm, I'm shocked that you managed to get. Um, that to, to, point. to answer his obvious question, yes, we were all acting. We got one. <laughs> we wanted to have some fun with it since we were freaking miserable. <laughs> it was a good category, Brian. We needed it. It kicked us into a whole different level of yeah. I really to really for up, a fun the, night. up everybody's game tonight. Well, you know what? What happened in our group is we up were able game. to name a lot of rappers we really could name them well, like we didn't know we had, what we they had, went we had to. five we had five names well we know. stopped when we realized I, we, we didn't know who they were <laughs> we just knew they were rappers so the, well, I, we in one of the rooms i can't remember i'm sorry but we talked about i could have probably given you guys a list of the actual rappers and just played matching game now that would have been better but, yeah but i think that we would have had some tens then, so, <laughs> yeah we wouldn't have got the kendrick guy no i don't think we would have had a 10 then no you would not have gotten many tens no. I think we still would have had one. <laughs> would have been more fives, maybe. Well, we would have gotten Kendrick. Maybe. Yes. Oh, we would have gotten Kendrick Lamar, yes. I'm looking, I'm looking at the two lists, and there's nothing to connect them to each other, really, unless you know. Well, there's, a, there's an Andre and Dr. Dre. Yeah. All right, there's one. Yeah. yeah. And a Kendrick and, Kendrick and a Kendrick. Kendrick. That's true. And, and some Kendrick people just Lamar. know who 50 Cent is and Kendrick Lamar. Well, but yeah, you had to know. I mean, saying if you didn't right, know right. the names. Like, all right, I had no Lamar. idea who number nine is. They've even heard of them. Your favorite I've never one. heard of number of seven. I've never heard of about. I've three, never heard one, seven two, or nine. I've heard of four, eight. Four, 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 Kevin, four of Kevin, Kevin, I haven't heard of any of them. Never heard of Jay Z. A lot of these, but I wouldn't. Snoop Dogg. Oh, Snoop Dogg or Jay Z. You should, uh, Lou. You should watch YouTube videos of Snoop Dogg cooking with Martha Stewart. They're That's hilarious. Funny. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. It's really good. <laughs> they became really good friends because of some commercial thing they did a long time ago. And then did he go to jail with her? No, no he's no, not. He has not been to jail. He hasn't been to jail. When you see the picture of the two of them, you say, which one has been to prison? He's mm -hmm. Martha Stewart. Mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> Maybe job. he visited her, though. Huh? Snoop's got a great cookbook, by the way. Snoop has the most potent marijuana that's for sale. Oh, he also has that. So, Ooh. But, like, he doesn't let that influence how good his cooking is. His cooking is pretty great. All right, good job. We're off to a roaring uh, split, mm. which is always fun whenever we have huge gaps in our our um, score. It's fun when you're on the top of the split, I must say. It's fun now. At least there was no tens. Now, on the extreme opposite end of what Brian just did is Caspian's turn. So I hope you've been brushing up on your uh, civil war in uh, in in Britain. Mm -hmm. and, Nicknames uh, of like, Civil War generals. Uh, in the early 1000s. <laughs> oh, Byzantine emperors. <laughs> the Balkan War. No, tonight it's Byzantine usurpers. Stop Ooh. all of you <laughs> give him ideas. <sighs> yeah, don't give him ideas. All right, Caspian, you're up. In actuality, oh, my no. topic tonight, though I had no part in deciding the team name, is very appropriate for it. Uh-oh. Tonight, I have named my topic angelology Ooh. which is the study of angels is that a real word that is a real word it is now there are multiple medieval grimoires that detail this okay is that a real word, is that a real word? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Got it. all right you guys do we need to be muted or are we going to be okay <laughs> we need muted Three, three, two, one. <clears throat> Question one. According to the Bible, what kind of angel is described as having four faces and four wings, supporting the throne of God? Question two. According to the book of Luke, which archangel appears before Mary to tell her that she would bear the Son of God? Question three. Angel Falls is the tallest waterfall on earth. What country is it in? Question four. If you want to see angels in the outfield, 
What city do you have to travel to? Question five. Who sang a song titled Angel with the lyrics, Now I believe that dreams come true because you came when I wished for you? <laughs> I was almost as good as if Suri sang it. <clears throat> I don't Who have Suri, you? so I couldn't contribute that way. Who are you? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Question six. How many seasons of Touched by an Angel were produced? The answer is between one and ten, inclusive. Oh, that's funny. Too many. <laughs> Question seven. What type of creature is Angel, or Angelus, as he is sometimes known? Question eight. What classic English heavy metal band released a reunion album in 2005 titled Angel of Retribution? <clears throat> Question nine. Who is the only angel to have been named Time's Person of the Year? Question 10. <clears throat> released in 1980, these two words were the name of a song, the album it was released on, and the band that wrote the song. One of these words is angel. The other word can be derived by answering this riddle. Oh no. Watchful and cautious, secure and mechanical. I am this word, yet shorter. Oh, good job, Cass. Okay, I'm so glad it's not all biblical. <laughs> Great job. Good questions. Anybody have questions? <clears throat> no? Awesome. Get to your rooms. Jamie, you're going to go into God Bless the Satanic, 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 satanic Temple. Good job, everybody. Play nice. Hi. All right, let me share my screen. All right, can we see? Well, I know one of these. Okay. Which one do you know, Karen? The um the song, number five. Oh, cool. Okay. Who is it? Madonna. Oh. Very. Harkening yeah. back to last week's uh, category. And yeah, number seven is vampire. I'm pretty sure he's a vampire, right? Yeah. He's a vampire. Yeah. 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 yeah, watch the show a bunch. It's the Oh, you, you knew that one too. Classic. I guess Black Sabbath. I don't know if that's correct, but I thought I remember them. Um, uh, it could be something else. That's just what I. Thought. My guess was Judas Priest. That's a good, I that's a good guess. Care if you think it's Judas Priest at all, it might be seventh. But I am taking a Peggy bias. Hill and Lord Kelvin list. nearly killed Darwin. Asked for help, so Caspi needs to go over there. Um, what did you say, Jamie, about Judas Priest? <clears throat> um, I wouldn't discount Judas Priest. I have some inside knowledge and. That is a band that comes up a lot. Aha. Uh -oh. no. Judas Priest it is. Oh, wait, Social I put Brian in the wrong one. one. Uh, Brian in goes in into. Judas, thank you. No, no, uh, he has been known. Wait, wait, don't say anything. Hey. He's in the wrong one. Oh, I am. Say anything. Nobody say look. anything. Don't look. Don't yeah, look. Don't look. Oh, la, 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 la. Stop don't stealing our answers, bro. Put him in the wrong room. Because the rooms moved on me. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. I don't know number one for. Let me think about that. Yeah. No, no. I'm trying three. to do the riddle. Let's see. I know um, number three. Okay. What is it, Janine? It's Venezuela. 
right? Cool. She says it as if we all know that. Which, which yes. One? Which one? Oh, Number great. three Thomas is waterfall. The, the Angel Falls. Falls. It's okay. a Talos Falls. Is that right? I had a girlfriend from oh, grad I, from grad school from Venezuela, and I always wanted to go. Okay. Well, and number two is uh, Gabriel. Yes, it is. Yep. That's correct. That's why I thought on that, but I didn't want to put anything. I played the Virgin that. Mary. Um, funny, hilarious that it was me. Twice at the local Presbyterian <laughs> church. I was not a member there. <laughs> so for number four, Angels in the Outfield. Los Wilson. Angeles. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. that's, we're talking classic angels right yeah don't accidentally put angles instead <laughs> <laughs> um i think number one i think probably, it's seraphim yeah that's my answer i never heard of that seraphim it's yeah. a group yeah. like cherubs cherubim oh. seraphim Watch i think it's phim yeah, Thank you. I was wondering. Makes I more might sense be wrong, way. but uh, I'm pretty sure that's correct. They're the highest of the highest. I agree with whomever said the answer an, is too many. Is there an E at the end of that? No. It's P H I M, I believe. Yeah. M as in Mary. Correct. Mark. Sarah Fim. Got it. Yeah, I think. Close enough. We know what we mean. Okay. All right. So six excuse me just a minute. My kitty needs to get outside. Okay. I'll be back. So do we think it's on the high or the low side? I think it's on the higher side. That's my thought too. You know, why don't we just say seven for the hell of it? All right. I like it. We're in the Satan group after all. Hell of it. Get it? Well, that would be six, but seven being the, the divine number. Watchful. All right, who's the only angel to have been named Times Person of the Year? I feel like I don't know why, but it's the angel of death. What? For COVID? Oh, like for COVID recently, we think? No, just anything. Or just anything, yeah. Or it could be somebody's name named Angel. It could be. Like Angela Merkel? No, but that's not her really? name. That's not Angel. He wouldn't do that to us. Angela? Wouldn't he? I don't know. Jamie can say what he would or wouldn't do better than no, I can. No, I don't think so. I don't so. think he would do that. Okay. Or we if he knows, we either. would hate on him. Um, oh, he doesn't care if we hate on him. I just don't think he would do it. Do we think Angel of Death? For but now? I'm open to anything. Oh. All right, we can figure out. It could I also be Gabriel. My other thought on that was Gabriel. Yeah. Yeah. Angel. Watchful and cautious, secure, Ian. I, I'm, I've been thinking about 10 and I cannot figure it out. Angel eyes, angel, archangel, archangel. Wasn't there a group called Archangel? No. Yeah. Watch archangel archangel is a single word. Which Maybe they spelled it twice. Angel from being its own word. There was a band in the 80s called Just Angel. Punky Meadows was the heartthrob in that. I saw right. them open up for the cars. What's my could first be, concert? Could they have been the angels? Angel. Nope. They were just angel. Watchful. Okay, let's see. Watchful and yeah. cautious. Secure. But it says, I am this word yet shorter. So whatever the word is for the riddle, it's the shortened form of it, I'm guessing. Oh, look, couldn't it be arc? And it's like arch would be the longer word? No, because it's the same word. Well, I was just thinking archangel. I know, but the word in front in the word archangel is A-R-C-H-A-N-G-E-L. It's the same word. Well, I think it's supposed to, isn't it? Well, but I get the impression these are two words and archangel is... A word. Unless they spelled it with two. I don't think that's it, but I'm having a hard time. 
an arch is secure. It's not mechanical or watchful or curious. That's all I can think of. Um, it's better than baby, angel baby. It's not angel baby. Angel eyes. We focus on band names. Well, I did. Um, the 80s, I should know that. Name of a song, the album it was released on, and the band that wrote the song. Vigilant, watchful and cautious, vigilant. Secure. I am this word yet shorter. Shorter than, so a really short. Watchful and cautious. Mechanical. I feel like this might be slightly obscure, but honestly, it's it's not bad. This is very, very well written. Yeah, it is very well written. It's going to make a total sense when we hear it. Maybe it might be obscure. It's okay. Wings, angel wings. Lock. Secure and mechanical would be a lock. Right, lock. but is it a lock? Is it watchful? But it could be, but but what it could be is a, a, a compound word. The first part is watchful and cautious. The second part is key, and I am this word yet shorter. Maybe. I. I don't. Angel lock. Lock angel. Mm -mm. Angel key, key angel. Angel eyes. I tried eyes, but it doesn't fit the phrase. Okay. Arcane. Well, plus we have to remember that it's whatever this is, it's the name of the song, the album, and the band. So they all three the same word, right? The same two words, one of which is angel. Right. Uh -huh. So what band has the word angel in it from the 80s? Wasn't there a I think this might be his staggering question to make sure nobody runs a perfect 10. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, you think he put it on purpose? To... No, well, I think he's trying to stagger it. So there's some easy, some medium, and one or two that are difficult. Yeah, that's it. He's got it. Which is how you, I think it would be ideal anyway. Yeah. You don't want it to be easy. You don't want it to be hard. And it's a good conversation. I'm trying to think of the. See, for watchful, secure, and mechanical, yeah. I, I think along the lines of like a camera, but. I think Arches? it's possibly likely we just don't know this. Angel. Yeah. I don't yeah, it know. Doesn't say it's like a bestseller or anything like that. It wasn't like it was top 10 or anything. It might be top 10, it might not. It was 1980. I mean, who the heck knows? Well, somebody, I think Caspian knows. I hope so. Um, how do we feel about number eight? Because I could see it being Sabbath, but I just don't know the album titles. I don't remember. It could be either. So Carl said he thought it might have been Sabbath? Oh, I did. And then... I'm oh, sorry, Judas Priest They're both... Was, they're uh, both Six of one, half a dozen another. I'm wondering um, if I'm thinking of Victoria Falls in Venezuela and what huh. Malawi has. My Malawi's the other contender. Is Malawi? Anybody have is it in, in Africa? Yeah, I thought it was in Africa. Um, I thought Angel Falls was in Africa too. I okay, don't know. So, okay. So I'm thinking Venezuela is Victoria Falls, and this might be Malawi or something around in that area, right? Janine, we're counting on you to get this one, uh, this, so we have for sure that right. 
<laughs> well, no I was pretty sure anything. when I first heard it, and and then I, I, I don't got know. Why don't think... we just stick with the first answer? Well, because her because answer pretty... was based on a, a memory that she now is questioning. Yeah, I'm thinking Victoria Falls is in Venezuela, and that Angel is Falls it? is in Africa. So, what country could it be? There's only 54 really? countries. I'm thinking it's around Malawi. I, I've never heard of Malawi. What is that near? Oh, <laughs> it's where my friend Godwin lived. <laughs> oh. I, 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 I think you got it backwards. I think Victoria Falls is somewhere in Africa. You know what? I think you're yeah. right. I think Victoria Falls is in Africa because Queen I Victoria. wouldn't get that cross. That doesn't mean Angel Falls it was could also because be it was Africa. like named by a British explorer who wouldn't have been exploring Venezuela. Right. <laughs> oh, okay. That's what I'm thinking. We're doing. Okay. Then I'm. Okay, I'm number ten, you guys. To stay with one. Venezuela. Angel. Hmm. Angel wings. The group, the album, and the song "Angel Wings." I got nothing else. Angel eyes. I would guess angel eyes, but just because that sounds like some vague recollection of a song, but it doesn't make sense with the riddle. Well, but eyes can be watchful. Oh yeah, eyes, and then shorten is I. So watchful eyes can be, and I can be watchful, and, and I can be cautious. and mechanical. Mm -hmm. Yeah, secure and mechanical. We're mm -hmm. really reaching you guys, but I can't think of anything else. I think angel eye. Eyes or no eye. Uh, um, well, shorter, right? So angel eye. No? Yeah, it sounds weird, but why not? Angel eyes. <laughs> no, it'd be angel eyes. Because the riddle is eye. No, I don't know what I'm talking about, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I I can't I said angel eyes. But okay. The other word is I Z. Yeah, so the riddle is eyes, plural. Guess but the now. band's name is Angel Eye. I go with that. We've got nothing else. So Angel Eye. Yeah, Angel Eye. All right, people look like they're starting to come back, I think. No, maybe not. All right, well, we can put it. But okay, do we have anything? No. We got everything? Hmm? We got they it. have an answer for everything. We do, even though I'm not happy with 10, but got to do what and, we got to do. And how did we choose six? We, we knew it was probably more than five. Seemed right. Okay. We're the satanic group, so pick seven. No, that's what. No, we picked that because the divine number. Oh, the divine. Sorry. Ah, yeah. thank you. The divine number, the lucky number. Pass. Angel of death, number nine. Good Lord. It's got to be somebody whose name is Angel. Probably, but there's no way you're going to pick that out of the hat unless well, you know it. We already, we already threw out Angela Merkel. Chris, Chris Angel, but he would never be person of the year. No, he would not. I like Angel of Death. You like Angel of Death better than Angel of Death? Angel of Death have times and person of the year. Have you met the time people? So well, why not? But Carl, do you think Angela you, would be? Why did you throw out Angela Merkel? Because her name's not Angel. Right. It's the closest I can think of, of any famous person who might have i think the angel of death because covid kicked our ass but that that wasn't our that wasn't our that's not the time of the year is was it last year time no, I know. Of the year? they don't say what year. Was biden well i think biden was last year and covid's only been around a I little bit i never said it had anything to do with covid no that was me I was how guessing. about how about has Time Magazine been around since the flu epidemic in 1916 and 17 uh, 17 and 18? Because yes, maybe Angel of Death was the Time Magazine of the Year in 1918. I mean, it's probably not. It's probably a person, but we're not going to get that person. Well, was Merkel uh, a named person of the year one year i wouldn't be surprised she's, she's i so, think she's so, not, not an angel sure. 
I mean, I 10 is Angela. already a question where he's shortening words. So I think it was Angela Lansbury. Angel is, <laughs> is part of the name. Murder, she wrote. I don't know. Angel Mac? Isn't there an Angel Mac or something? Mechanical Angel? Angel? Well, we'll find out soon. Yes, well, we all right. The teams are coming back. You guys done? Oh, it's closing in 50 seconds anyway. Well, good job, team. Yeah, good notice. job. All right. Good job. People are coming back. They are. Look at them all. In droves. Look at all these people returning. Like angels. Popping into existence. It's a reverse rapture. <laughs> good Jamie hitting the bottle there. <laughs> you know, I, was thinking, I, I was thinking about that whole thing where you know it was supposed to have happened a while back and how would and suppose it actually did and somebody said well i was one of those 144,000 to which Janine, said, a cat no you weren't i'm trying to keep the cat from drooling on me oh you have a drooling cat yeah it's gross they do that when oh, they're really happy oh. you know <laughs> then, they, they, they do them. They do it then too. <laughs> Caspian, good it's job. So gross. These were good questions. Yes. Yeah. I have I have known some drooling cats, and it's kind of gross. It's the gross. It's like a baby that drools. All right, like a dog. <laughs> All right. Are you ready for the answers? Yes. Can you space? You gonna put them in chat? Oh yeah. Okay. Get down. Get down. Question okay. one. The Don't angel see. described as having four faces and four wings supporting the throne of God is a cherub. Oh. oh. I thought it was an architectural construction. Guest Seraphim. Seraphim have six wings. And I are not an architectural angel. Missed it by that much. <laughs> by well, I was just winging it. Oh. <laughs> that was oh. a Question two, the archangel that- uh, Are you putting your answers in the chat? I will, uh, in, a, in a bunch. That angel, archangel was Gabriel. Yay. Woo. Question three, Angel Falls is in Venezuela. Yes! Oh. Good job! Thank what God, if we, we didn't change that. What if we I'm got the right my planet? my team didn't listen to me on that one. <laughs> we, got the right, <laughs> we got the right planet. <laughs> Question four. In order to see angels in the outfield, you must travel to Anaheim, California. Yes. I will also accept, if anybody it's guessed this, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Will you accept Los Angeles? Because of the movie? Los Angeles. Why? Why? Because, because of the movie? Angels are not in Los Angeles. No, they why Pittsburgh? Why, why, why Pittsburgh? Because there was a 1951 movie called Angels in the Outfield that featured the Pittsburgh Pirates. Ah, see, that's what I was remembering. I thought it was, the I thought it was Chicago. Wasn't no, there the was Cleveland a 19... Indians? There was one Cleveland made in Indians the 80s. Cleveland Indians were major league. Sorry, guys. Well, I know the that remake in the 80s too. was also in Pittsburgh? I'm sorry, no, what? that was filmed in Oakland. Okay. Question five. Who sang a song titled Angel with those lyrics? It is Madonna. Madonna. Oh. Yay, good job, Karen. We should have just guessed Madonna after last week. <laughs> Yeah. Question six. There were nine seasons of Touch. Oh, oh. Wow, that's that's eight too many. Yeah. yeah. That's eight it's and a half nine too many. many. You love that first many. one, Kevin. Somehow it's <laughs> eleven too many. Yeah. Question seven. Angel or Angelus is a vampire. Good. We got, we, yeah, we got one. Good job. Do you accept vampire detective? <laughs> Well, a detective. How about Greek vampire? Yeah, he's a werewolf <laughs> bat mitzvah planner. <laughs> Question eight: Angel of Retribution was released by Judas Priest. Uh, oh, I, knew I should have known that. It was either that or Black yeah. Sabbath, right? It had to be one of them. <laughs> yeah, we went back and forth. Those, oh. those were our two choices as well, uh, Kevin. Question nine, the only angel to have been named Times Person of the Year, German Chancellor Angela Merkel. No, oh. no way. Did you guys no write it way. down? 
we, we argued yeah, for we it. We argued oh. about that. We said there's no way Caspian would have put that on there. That's <laughs> cruel, evil. It's within evil. the name. The way the question's written, it, you're looking for an angel, not a person. Yeah, I don't know mm -hmm. about that one. Uh, no non-person people have been named Times Person of the Year yet, so. But Angela is. Mm. Except for the computer, I think. And you. Because that's everyone. Yes, but you are a person. No, but every but that's addressing many people. Yes. But yes. But only that one bad. of us. We should have gone with Merkel. We should have. Damn it. Sorry. Um, shit we did you go with We didn't think he would do it, Caspian. Well, what'd you what you have Jamie for an answer? and I both said we didn't think he would do that. What did you have for an answer, Susan? We the put, angel of death. We put angel of death because we didn't think he would have put Angela Merkel, which is what Kyle, I mean, Kyle, which is what Carl said first off. He's like, it's Angela Merkel. We're like, no, he would never do that. I didn't say never. it was for sure. It said that's the only thing I could think of that would fit. Yeah. And now, Ted, let's see. Okay. This is how the riddle works. Watchful and cautious. I was looking for the word wary. Oh, we almost had that. Secure and mechanical. The word I was looking for was lock. Wary oh. lock, warlock. Oh. In a word that means the same thing as warlock, but shorter, witch. And this was a popular band? I never heard of Not them. especially popular, no, but I ran out of que uh, questions. <laughs> and <laughs> What was it? Angel witch or witch angel? Angel, witch. Or? angel uh warlock. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm going to look up angel. Oh, that's horrible. We okay, never, so we I'm, 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 hating, I'm hating two people tonight so far. <laughs> and my word is yeah. done. Two for two. Oh, what do you have oh, against man. Angela Merkel? We got lock, so we were Angela. halfway to the compound word. <laughs> we almost had wary for a while. We didn't think of it as a compound word. We were coming up with like, we, we came up with angel eye, and we thought it was eyes, and it was shortened to eye. Yeah. I thought it was Farrah Fawcett. <laughs> well, the, the riddle for, for me, the riddle didn't specify that it was two separate words joining. That's right. Yeah. I am this word. That's totally. how I read it. I, I, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Grown, grown, grown. That it was one word, but what has right. it got in its pockets? Is yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> I thought it was clear the way it was written that it was a compound word, that the first two before the comma was, was the first part clear. of the word. And the next was the second part. I didn't get it. No, I would have put a very happy for you, Karen. But I don't normally get these things. I'm not. I'm, done a I'm, I'm a bit dense. I just looked them up. I don't never, still never heard of them. All the songs. Kevin's never heard of them. They may not have existed. No, they existed. <laughs> they have a I just never heard the song. Hmm. Which angel? Which angel? There are many the reasons next, I am bad at cryptic Next trivia crossword. question is: angel which? which angels? Which angels? Top ten hits. But it's Angel Witch? Angel Witch's top hits, views. Angel Witch, Angel Witch, Angel Witch. Band, song, album. Wow. It's so obvious now. Oh. <laughs> no clue, still. Well, I'm, I'm just glad that it's not anything I actually heard of. It, they must be big. They have a Wikipedia <laughs> yeah. page. They must well, be. yeah, that, that certainly nails it. Yeah. <laughs> we should all be humming their songs. Hey, they may have done a whole bunch of songs that we hum and we didn't know it was theirs. All right, so let's see. Let's go with, um, let's, I want to see uh, the score from Fudia Lamax. Fluid dynamics. Fluid dynamics. Yeah, whatever. My Five. way of saying it's much more interesting. How many? Five again. Again. Ooh. Matrix re Resurrections. Uh, five. God bless the Satanic Temple, which was the one I was on. Five. That gives me a score of five. And here's the, <laughs> maybe they'll get not 10. So Lord Kelvin nearly killed Darwin's theory. Three. All right, fiddle foul, what'd you come up with? Fruital Freeman of the yeah. land. Yeah. We had five. <clears throat> okay. That's kind of sad looking scores. Are you guys? <laughs> I'm, a little, I'm feeling a little depressed. We're still in it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so take a couple minutes, 
and um, come back with it. Oh, group picture, group picture. I can do it because I have, I my computer now allows me to do that kind of stuff. It's so nice. So I have this new brand new inner exchange. Okay. Pinch your cheeks, pinch your red cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, it'll look so much better that way. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> One, two, three. Geez. <laughs> there we go. I think I got it. Let's see. Fantastic. Okay, great. Good night, everybody. Okay, good night. Good night, everybody. 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 September 8th, uh, 9th. When I shut my camera off, it turns into a ghost. It's so weird. What? Goes, watch. When I shut my camera off, like the screen, it leaves a black image where I used to be. Oh, now it won't do it. it makes me a liar. Liar! You're a liar! That's not doing it. That's okay. Okay. Starting to put up the. Are we on? Are we on a break? We're on a break. Yeah. We're never this quiet. Should I put up the score so far? <laughs> How many skeptics does it take to change a light bulb? How many? Why are you asking? <laughs> Rappers, real names. God. I'm just going to put all these 10 up there and see if anybody gets them. Good job. Angels. Because you're never this quiet. Pop quiz. What is the actual term for those little baby angel things that are, you know, little fat little babies with wings that sometimes shoot arrows of love at people? You mean cupids? Cherubs. They are cherubs. not cherubs, though the term has come to be used for them in English. The proper oh term is Hootie. What? The Italian. Hootie? How would you spell that? Like that. Oh, I can't. Singular is puto. Yeah. Well, I don't know what makes that proper compared to, for example, Hebrew. Well, I don't think, I don't know that they have a specific term. A lot of angelology comes out of Hebrew. Oh, yes, but I'm not sure about the little fat babies. I'm babies. excited that there's angelology. I've learned that word today. Next week's category. Well, have you ever heard of demonology? Oh, of course. It's the same thing, just That's weird the, that you would be a, that you would do that category about, in a group that you didn't name that had to do with demons. Susan, what about angelology? Oh, as in Merkel? <laughs> no, as in geometry. Oh, uh, she's already expressed her disdain for angelology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About how pointless it is. Well, just that stupid, stupid thing, that stupid math thing that was just made up. Somebody just made up. That was stupid. Because you could have picked anything. You could Susan. pick any number. Susan, have you ever considered that maybe you don't have the background to appreciate it? <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, maybe disagree. You, I, maybe I don't believe you, should. you, Susan. I think you're just I think you're just being stubborn on purpose. No, not me. <laughs> not you. Not a single stubborn streak in me anywhere. Uh, okay, I'll be right back. Oh, oh, I've got I've got important news that I just read on the internet. Uh oh. Apparently, Roomba has now developed an artificial intelligence for its little vacuum cleaners so that they won't run over dog poop and <gasps> smear it all over your apartment. Oh, your really? Does yes. that also include cat vomit? Yeah, cat vomit's all <laughs> I'm not sure. It just says uh, dog poop. Okay, One of them is a realistic poop. possibility. You're not going to find dog no. poop. I'll put the link in the chat.
And as we know, all such announcements are perfectly uh, developed technology mm -hmm. that never fails. Yeah. Right. This is also a very wonderful application for our new AI overlords to take I'm, over I'm, for us. I'm, I'm pretty sure Theranos right. had a lot of press releases about what their product could do. Wasn't that based on a line uh, landmine search um, technology? So now they're trying to avoid other types of mines. <laughs> landmines, you know? Um, I, I know, but no. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm actually amazed that anyone fell for Theranos. What? What's that? What's that? I am too. The uh, the the blood test people. Oh, I remember when I first oh, heard about it, yeah, I go, yeah. this, this is bull. This can't really work. Yep. So I just I just did a Google search in that article, uh, and uh, there's no uh, no vomit or puke in it, so I, I can't buy it because that's what's in my house for my two cats. Yep. And that's why I've never bought one because this is no way. It's just gonna smear all over the carpet. I mean, and dogs puke too, right? So I don't understand. They usually eat it, though. But they take care of it. Oh, yeah, they clean up after oh. them. Thank, thank, thank you, you so much for sharing. Me why and I don't have a dog. And if you get my, a dog, they'd also take care that. of your cats too. No, Deborah. No, it does. One of the cattle, cats will throw up, and the other one will go over there if I don't. Whoa, get her. that is so yeah. freaking unusual for a cat. So what he you really to need eat. to do is get a Roomba <laughs> that looks like a piece of carpet, so the cat will throw up on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Your cat will crawl underneath it. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's true. I'll be like, oh look, <laughs> I got a, a, a oh, rug no. that'll crawl on top of me. Or the ninja, ninja cat. Oh, what, 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 what kind of cat do you have, Deborah? Um, he is. I don't know what kind he is. He's a polydactyl, orange and white. Oh. Totally crazy. I mean, he he when he was younger, he would fetch. Um. I guess I'm asking, was, was it a feral cat originally? No, or? I got him from the AFRP when he was about nine months old. Someone had taken him when he was, I guess, a few months younger, and he tried. He started beating up their other cats that were older, <laughs> and so they brought him back. And so I took him, and he's like, he's like the best cat. He's just the best. <laughs> Even cleans up puke. He does. If I don't, if what I don't does get he do with the Roomba? Does he sit on it? I don't have a Roomba. Well, get him one love and he'll, he'll love it. He'd be afraid. He's afraid of stuff like that, though. He's he doesn't like mechanical stuff very much. It's like or loud noises. Maybe you shouldn't read him a riddle then. No, I don't think he'd like that. He likes to drink water out of the faucet. Um, Just because yeah. he can't hold a cup. And he go yeah exactly, and he goes in the other in the bedrooms and gets things and drags them into other parts of the house. That's like my cat. My cat will play fetch as well. Like yeah. you can throw a mouse across the room and he'll go and chase after it and go and get it and bring it back and let you throw it again. Yep. Yeah, mine would do that for a while. He got tired of that game after a while. But Saunders, Saunders cats do that. Yeah, the new one. Evie yeah. plays fetch every morning. Yeah. yeah. With your with your hiding cat? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, on certain days, she will Failed to retrieve it the last time because she hides it somewhere so that she gets, I, put, I put the ball away when we're done playing fetch, but sometimes she will hide it. And then like later on that day, I'll be downstairs watching TV or something and I'll hear her upstairs with this very sad crying meow <laughs> like for a minute straight. And while I go up there and try and see what's wrong, she's standing at the top of the stairs with the ball in her mouth. Oh, it's like, come back and play with me. Yeah, I my thought friends that had it was playing hide and seek the ball. Okay, here we go. We're back. So I've got a math problem for you guys. This <laughs> is really a complex. Don't waste your career on figuring it out because, you know, we have to have these math problems figured no out. Million dollar but prize. I understand mathematics and computers. So don't waste your life on this. Okay. Promise me. Good. Thank you. Whose life should we waste? <laughs> <laughs> the thing Avi isn't here or he made so it. there's no million dollar prize is what she's saying so it's nine and a half times 
23.4 divided by seven. Now don't try to figure it out because it can be kind of a problem if you use the exponent what? of nine to the 15th. What? So watch yourselves. Anyway. Did you take did you take 10 minutes to come up with that, Susan? No. Drive us crazy. You can't repeat it. She just mumbled some. Hey, do, do you actually know the answer? So of course, there is un, the, we have not defined the answer of these yet because it's all don't forget about the exponent. Uh -huh. And you have the exponent is in. There's no exponent there. I'm talking about. Well, no, I don't know how to make exponent. E X P N. There you go. There is the exponent in. So be careful. Oh. Because you gotta, you gotta, what? you gotta, gotta find the in. There you go. Uh, Susan, remember what I asked earlier? <laughs> it seems just as legit. It's just as legit. Thank you. Um, remember what I asked. Remember what I asked earlier. Name. Remember what I asked earlier? Maybe you don't have the background. <laughs> Just saying out loud that there are other mathemat mathemat mathematical conundrums. And they're just as important. Don't waste your life on it. You mean like Conundra. something is supposed to be to the n power somewhere? It's, you're, supposed to, you're supposed to figure out n. Well, that's actually well, the, not in that like, line, so there's no need to figure out. That's there. actually the funniest <laughs> part about the Collatz conjecture is mathematicians tell other mathematicians the same yeah. thing, which is don't waste don't your waste life your on this on because you I can do. because you can spend your entire career on it and not make progress. Very good. See, I just said, and I had the same advice with this one. This but, but yours, yours doesn't yeah. make any sense. It has two. Yeah. There's Are no connection saying? between the first part and the second part. Yeah, there's no n in the first part. Well, it's in there. I just couldn't put it in there because I can't make an exponent on chess. divided by Wait. seven to the n. Actually, like you, saying? actually you, can. Follow, you mean like you don't know how to do just a don't carrot? Know how. Why does it follow that you might waste your career studying it? You just can punch that in the because, calculator and come up because with because it's answer. a because the the problem is embarrassed. Like it looks so embarrassingly simple. And it's very easy yeah. to like, yeah. like well, the, I could say some that of the about greatest, versus NP. but it's like, but well, and P versus NP doesn't seem simple at all to me. Oh, it's very anyway. obvious what the answer is. Well, sure. But proving it is the hard part. Yep. And similarly, similarly, it's like the Colas hmm. conjecture is like, okay, it's proven up through a huge number. But the question is, is it always true? Or is there some rogue cycle somewhere where it's not true? Um, and the only way it's like misproving a negative. The only way you can figure this damn thing, that one, that other that's one. That's not, not true, Susan. No, that's not it's true. Susan. There's a ton that's of other mathematical true. problems that have been no, solved. No, on the one that the first one this. that we had the yeah. that I was telling you about. The no, only you're way wrong. This proven, no. you're prove it. wrong. For Mach's theorem was proven. There, there, there are and that, lots that's a similarly of simple proof, or that's a similarly simple looking problem. Math. There are lots of things in math where you can prove a result without giving the details. This so again, one that I'm talking about, the, the one that we started talking about has uh -huh. not, they've gotten into the millions of numbers. Yes, Susan, I've, said, I've been familiar with the, right. I've been familiar with well, the Coats conjecture for decades. The only way they decades. will know it's not, it's that's not, not no. it's just solve it. Uh, evaluating no, it in terms right. of individual numbers is not the way to prove that it's that true. It's numbers. just like, it was just a way of saying, okay, well, can we like is there something accessible that will disprove it and the answer is no there isn't or at least there hasn't been so far so we don't have a definitive definitive disproving of it but what we what we do know about it is that like that it is actually extremely extremely difficult and that some of the preeminent like genius mathematicians who have attempted to solve it like they've made notable leaps and bounds and still it's not a solved problem. Like they bounded the so problem down to done? much, much more. We have when, no idea. Ask Who knows, from all last, when Thomas Thomas theorem took hundreds of years. When, when it's figured out, we'll know. Before that, we don't. It could yeah. be one more breakthrough. That might be all that's necessary. Yeah, could be. It one could happen comes right now, but we just haven't moment. heard the news. Susan, are you being deviously clever by extending this conversation so that somebody's going to send this to a mathematical notice board and it'll go viral and it'll have millions of hits? How did you know? <laughs> I'm on TikTok right now. Okay. Oh, are there really going to be millions up. of people on a mathematical notice theory board? Yeah. It'll, be, it'll be three more hits than usual. That's that's a legitimate question. Legitimate legitimate question, question Caspian. Caspian. Okay, Kevin, you're up. 
And it better not be math related. It 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 is not math. It, or Billy Joel. It's oh sorry, I better come back. <laughs> um I have to open it up. It's um do you watch the show uh Wheel of Fortune? Yeah. And well, they I have did. a category called before and after. Oh, oh, okay. It's so all of my answers are before and after type clues. So okay. I'll give you a clue and you have to put the answer, which is a before and after. I'll give you some examples. I have to open up my file. Hold on a second. Okay. I I hope written that. You about. want it, you want to turn off your video before you do that? Why? Before you open your file, maybe something. No, 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 no. It's just a text file on the side. You're not going to. That was a joke. You might accidentally show. That was a joke, Kevin. Yeah. Yep. Yep. A joke. Leonard made a joke. <laughs> it's, not, it's not that unusual, Jim. <laughs> harsh, Jim. That's so Jim. harsh. <laughs> I'm glad I'm recording. I think it's up for debate whether Leonard made a joke or not. But <laughs> oh, I no, certainly let's hope not so. Start another debate, please. <laughs> It's really only up to Leonard whether or not he made a joke. It's up to us whether or, okay. I, whether or not it was yeah, a good yeah, joke. Or not. <laughs> so category is called before and after. These are clues like the category of the same name of the TV show Wheel of Fortune. All answers will be connected. Because there are, each has two parts. Each, each answer has two parts. There will only be five questions. Okay. If you get the first part, it's worth one point. The second part is worth another point. So five questions. I will give you a few examples so you see what I'm going for. Okay. Okay. If example number one, if I said the clue is a kid's sandwich and an aquatic stinger, what would you okay. give for an answer? Peanut Something butter and jellyfish. Jelly roll. Jellyfish. Yeah, it's peanut butter, butter and jellyfish. And jellyfish. The jellyfish. answer is peanut butter and jellyfish. Oh, you combine them? Okay. Yes, before oh, and right. after. That's how it works on. Right, right, right. 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 On, okay. on, before uh, and after. Yeah, before and after. They're connected. That should I'll be another example. In aquatic. <laughs> yeah. I spelled it wrong. Oh my spelling god! Spelling doesn't count, even in the <laughs> questions. Yes, thank you. Okay, the second example: stars of the movie Grease. So what is the answer? What? Stars of Olivia the Newton, movies. John Travolta. Olivia Newton, oh, John Travolta. Oh, <laughs> very good. Okay, they're all going to be groaners like this. I hope I'm on the oh, team. Good. I got that right. Kevin, Kevin, I, I don't I get that second. Have a question about the second part of your instructions. All answers will be connected. You don't mean the first part eight. is connected to the second part. Yeah. So As in, there's at least each, a word or multiple mean, part or parts me, of the word that are connected. Excuse me. You mean for each pair, not for yes. all five yeah, items? Yes, yes. That's right. Oh, for each pair. I didn't get not that each pair. Number one and two is one question. Number th Thank you. Yeah. So uh, so, so why why would the example number two not be John Travolta, Olivia Newton-John? Because, because, the because John Olivia Newton-John. It's not a straight connection. They have a John shared Travolta. word. Olivia and they, John they connect the last word ends with John word. and John Travolta starts with John. See, it's I put like it in the chat. So, so how John that with, Travolta, unless her name was Travolta. So, John. so how was that with peanut butter and jellyfish? Peanut butter and jelly. It's a slightly jellyfish. different it's thing. one thing, jellyfish. and jellyfish is the other. Both will be accepted, right, Kevin? If we did Olivia Newton, John Travolta, oh, that would be accepted. Olivia I mean, Newton, John Travolta, or Olivia Newton, John, John Travolta. The John right. is the two Newton different jellyfish. questions. Yeah, I got it. And if you could only remember. John Travolta, that would also be one point. One point, right. right. Got it. Okay, so the last example. The last example. A Wham member and the King of Pop. What the heck is a Wham? Michael, Michael Jackson, Jackson, so it's, yeah. George Michael Jackson. George Michael, Michael, Michael Jackson. Jackson. Got, got it. it now? Yes. Wham. Okay, here got come it. the questions. Got it, got it. Question, question. Right. Now don't mute everyone else. Mute everybody. Please mute everybody. Okay. Three, don't shout them out, because some two, of them are easy and some of them are not one. so easy. Some of them are easy. Some of them are not so easy. The first one and two. Pasta and the Golden Girls dessert. Question three and four.
Reginald Kenneth Dwight and Henry John Dieseldorf Jr. I probably said that wrong. Dieseldorf or something. Really Deutschdorf. Deutschendorf. Kevin, for number one, are you wanting the name of a pasta dish? I can't tell you any hints because it'll make sense when you get both pots. Right. Well, I've already got the second part. Okay, well, then somebody on your team will help you with the first pot, but don't want to give any clues because it's not that hard. Number five and six, Fred Flintstone in Listen to the Music, and this one has a hint. I give you the common part. Oh. Because that was a little too hard for the people who tested this. Adrian and... and yes, they uh, said I needed a little more. But they did get it. Question seven and eight. In quotes, beaten by the popo and an ancient Egyptian pharaoh. This next one might be the hardest one, except for the bonus. I actually have a bonus one too. Question nine and 10, a foul mouth comic and an American Idol contestant. And this was an actual uh, puzzle on uh, Wheel of Fortune. And then I have a bonus one, which consists of three, a before, a middle and an after. So there's three items connected in this last one. And this is a bonus. You get them all, you get an extra point, maximum points 10. So if you get something wrong, this is your cushion. And this one is oh, okay. a censored comedian, a kung fu master, and an assassin. Walk I, into a bar. Oh. <laughs> I, uh, I, I double posted it by accident. Okay. Oh, this is fun. I see what and that's it. This is good. So is good. go to your rooms and okay. have fun. This will make and sense. This, I almost answer. said you're allowed to use Google, but she said, no, that makes it too easy. Okay. Got it. Good job, Kevin. Here we go. I'm going to go into this one. Am I in the right room? All right. Yes, you oh. are. Okay. Yeah. I got the bonus. Okay, pasta and the golden. Well, it's cheesecake for the Golden Girls. Yeah. So could it be Parmesan cheesecake? Pasta Parmesan is that a is that a food? Mm. Kevin, go. I want to hear what the bonus is, Jeff. <laughs> Lenny Bruce. Kung Bruce Lee. Oh, and oh, there you pasta. go. That's cool. Very good. Hey, you can't tell me that it's right. All I said was very good. That's very good. <laughs> but I came I, up with an answer. That's we'll, good. We'll no, that's it. Right. I immediately thought Bruce Lee when he said Kung Fu Master. And I was like, Bruce Lee. Oh, was Lenny Bruce censored? Oh, yeah. Of oh, course yeah. it was. Oh, yeah, Yabba Dabba Do. And do listen to the music. Do Scooby Dooby Doo? Scooby Dooby Doo? No. No, it's Dooby Dooby Doo. Is Dooby Dooby Doo? Doo Wop. Oh, that's hard. How would you say it? Listen to the music. Do. Doobie Brothers? Dooby Dooby Doo. Did they do a song called Listen to the Music? I don't know. That might be them. There's like an AM Gold classic in there. I'll put a question mark next to it and we can yeah. we can revisit it. What, what, what did we have for one and two? Well, two is definitely cheesecake. I don't know what the other side of it is, though. Um, what was the question? Pasta. Oh, pasta. It might be something that just ends with chi yeah. instead of cheese. I feel like we could argue for it if we got a good pasta ending in cheese. Or chi. Like ravi mac and cheese. Mac and cheesecake. Mac and cheesecake? Yeah, mac and cheesecake. Macaroni and cheesecake. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Okay, cool. 
craft dinner. Yep, <laughs> good old craft dinner. All day. Who who said craft dinner? <laughs> Me. I learned it from trivia. All you, you Canadians. Yeah. Okay. I was gonna say no. Nobody. Nobody says craft dinner. No. Here. It's 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 <laughs> like I've taken to calling it craft dinner if it comes from a box, and then mac and cheese if you make it by hand. Okay. So this this these names sound very familiar to me yes on doisendorf jr is like Deutschendorf. Deutschendorf. Uh, isn't he a very famous like john travolta or something and he's like a famous name yeah that i mean yeah he has a same with reginald kenny dwight r k d yeah. these are two these are two real names it's not r kelly is it Oh, but who's this? But who's the other one? Uh, R. Kelly, Kelly Clarkson. No, it's some very no. famous name. Henry. Henry John. That it's um. It's like John Travolta name. It's like something that we all know, but. So it could be like oh John Henry. It could be. So if like if if the first one is R. Kelly, then the person, the next person's name is Kelly Grant. Mm -hmm. R. Kelly Grant. Like, I don't know if that's it, but that's what I'm saying. I, I'm okay with that as a as a um, as a stand in right now. That seem that makes sense to me. It does make sense. It doesn't mean it's right, but it does make sense. But it could seven and eight be Rodney King and King Tut? Yeah. Oh, um, Richard Saunders wants back in. Okay, he wants Rodney to go to he goes to Jordan. Tut. Saunders is in the first room. Or Tutankhamun if you're Egyptian. Yeah, no, I guess. no. Yeah. Wait, what was the first one? Sorry, Rodney was, King. Sorry. Rodney King, yeah, okay. Rodney King Tut. Okay. I'm just going to pair these just because sure. it's fairly obvious from the answers whether or not we got, whether or not we're going to get them. Okay. And I paired them too anyway. Yeah, the style's cool. I actually like it. Yeah, it's very good. Now that we got it. We yeah. Okay, so number nine. Kelly Clarkston, isn't she an American Idol contestant? I'm yep. just guessing. And so a, a foul mouth comics whose last name is Kelly. That wouldn't be R. Kelly, would it? No, <laughs> no that might actually comic. be R. Kelly. Not as a comic. He was a rapper. Right? Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. R and B. I don't know American Idol. I've never really watched it. So it's a lot of people who've been through American Idol. Okay, who's Obama a comic, comic? Could be Lewis Black. Lewis Black's a foul mouth comic, yeah. Yeah, yeah but like is there an Lewis? American Black. Idol contestant? Black. Who is the guy who always wore the wood leather jacket? Jackets and stuff like that. And he got uh, uh, Henry Winkler. No, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Vaughn. He's foul mouth, all right. <laughs> hey. Oh, you're thinking of Andrew Dice Clay? Yes. Oh, could be. Oh, and yeah. Andrew Dice guessing. Clay Aiken. Oh, yeah, Clay Aiken. Oh, Clay Aiken. good job. Wow. I don't know if that's how you spell it, but. Something like that. I don't. Something, I don't think the uh, spelling will be a problem. That's that, yeah. If, but if, if we miss out what he was I thinking, think we we're still getting the point. I think we got the. I think we got the bonus though. Right. Sure. And I. I do think Andrew Dice Clay Aiken makes the most sense. Let's see if we can get it another way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he might not have thought of it. No, that works. I like yeah. it a lot. Good job. The only thing I'm iffy on is Kelly Grant. Is that confirmed? Kelly Grant? No, yeah, it's Kelly Grant. We can, we can, 
It wasn't Kelly Grant, it was Cary Grant. So that's gotta be wrong. It's C-A-R-Y and it's not oh, our- Carrie. Carrie. Carrie? Carrie? But that doesn't make sense because there's no R Carrie. So that's no, wrong. but John, God, who is that guy? Could it be Hank I mean, Aaron? Jim Carrey, but Carey. Hank Aaron. Which, given that you know all all of the, you know, given that all the actors change their names, it could be Jim Carrey. As Henry John Dusendorf or Deutschendorf, which Carey, Jim, I mean, Jim Carrey, Carey Grant, as <laughs> Jim Carrey, uh, Jim Carrey was Jim Carrey. That sounds good, Jim Carrey Grant. I like it. The only thing is, it's not a great match for the clues. No, and Carrie Grant. No, is, it's not great. It's not well, right. except I don't know what his name was beforehand. Whose? Huh? Who whose name? Jim Carrey. What was Jim his name? Carrey was Jim Carrey. I don't yes, think it was Jim Carrey be beforehand. Almost all actors take a different name. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you talking about the comedian Jim? Wait, Jim Carrey, the the comedian. I'm, I'm talking about the actor Jim Carrey, like as in the mask, as in the one who's. Uh, uh, his, his name is Jim Carrey. The one who's married to abundant anti vaxxer The Canadian. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Canadian. You know the Canadian. He's uh, he's uh, Jim Carrey. His name. Yeah. Is he not... played Robotnik in the Sonic movie. He played. Yeah. You know, right. He's, he's still, been, he's still he's Jim Carrey. Uh, I, I don't think he changed his name. He was, it's he was... John Wayne, I think. Isn't John Wayne? Oh, it could be. Um, what are these names? Reginald uh, Dwight might be John Wayne. I, you know, I see. I have that category before. Of who are these famous people? And I, I know both of these names have been on there, and it'd be somebody famous enough like John Wayne. John Wayne Grant. John Wayne. Maybe not. No, because Wayne, Wayne Grant doesn't make sense. Oh, John Wayne and Wayne Hold on. Was Newton. Fred Astaire? Was Fred Wayne Astaire Newton? Newton? Oh. Fred Astaire? Why don't you call them all in? Call them all in. Uh, give them a warning or something. You guys need more time? No, we think we got it. We, we think we're good. Okay. I'm going to. I have to leave the room before you do it. Are you going to put that one down? John sure. Wayne Newton. John Wayne Newton. Sure. And if so, then I, I, I helped. <laughs> I want okay. everybody to know that. Yeah, we'll see. If I, mean, I get it right, if not, forget we have, that I we did have the video. I'll cut that out of the video. That I like. Oh, you so. won't cut it out of the video, Susan. Yes, I will. I will. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that's the funniest answer I've seen yet. <laughs> oh, man. You can't change it now. <laughs> but you have a, or, there's Susan. You have a rooster, right? Yeah, that's this is him. That's the other one, right? Yeah. yeah. So they can make little chickens. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, the eggs will be fertile, but she's young yet. She just started laying. Ah. None of the none of the other ones have have done any have started laying yet. Well, that'd be kind of fun. Yeah. Two of the silkies are roosters, though, so I only have one silky hen. How many chickens total do you have? How many chickens does uh, it take? Oh, sorry. <laughs> when, um, one of my old ones died uh, last night. Oh, no. Um, oh, Richard's back. Huh? Hi, Richard. Yay, Richard. Hello. How'd it go? Did How'd it, talk go? Uh, it went really well. There was one uh minor technical hitch which didn't really do much to d disappoint anything the rest went swimmingly so it was really good yeah you didn't have any hecklers hecklers uh, i couldn't hear them i turned them down <laughs> guys on my team i put down the name of a particular foul mouth comic as a guest for the first one just so we have something there thank you mike did you get any good questions Kevin? richard what's that Get any good questions? Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, they were laid to me by Bill Patterson. He, he told me, asked questions on behalf of the audience. And that was that was pretty cool. Great. Great. Well, a good question I got was, oh, what's the harm in psychics predicting the future? And 
My answer was oh. not, watch Rob not, Palmer's talk. Yeah. <laughs> well, my answer was well, it depends on the ones because the ones that are simply making columns for trashy magazines, they're not going to do too much harm. It's the ones that get you into their office and say, put your trust in me and I'll tell you that your financial movements for the next year based on my psychic insights, they can cause real harm. Yeah. I think so, that if so, you're so a celebrity, part, part, that oh. it, it, it's annoying if you're a celebrity. You know, so, I mean, come on. So, so, so the part of my talk that maybe Lenny was referring to is that the media gives credence and credibility to the people on the street corner that they can do this. And, and publishing these things in newspapers is part of that. It's like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a real What's thing. The whole Look, it's in every of, newspaper. Yeah, it's the whole concept of, of encouraging magical thinking. Yep. It, yeah. it is. Yep. That's true. Um, but for the for the a large part, the media, the editors don't care. Yeah, yeah. Like, exactly. It's, right. it's, because after all, what, it's a what column possible harm? What possible well, harm could there be to have yeah. a significant chunk of the population <laughs> that doesn't yeah, believe yeah. in science? <laughs> and yeah, right. Oh, it's not like, like we have a pandemic and people are not vaccinated. We're an asshole, not get vaccinated. Yeah, that's right. never. I, right. Nobody would ever do that. Right. What a silly yeah. thought. What yeah. a silly thought, Leonard, really. Uh, I'm sorry. It's so <laughs> implausible. So, Susan. So implausible. Yes. Did you do the um, the roundup of what's coming up? No. Yes. I no. They're in we'll do after this. I'm actually all facing. Kind of well, do answers? Yeah, let's do the answers, answers first. Answers now. Or Mike's hot Jeff. Answers. Answers. Ah. Uh, that was I, I really fun, up. Kevin. I, I think people it. did well oh, on this. I think there's some tens well, and some nines and eights. Okay. Maybe all tens. I'm not sure if everybody got everything. Oh, definitely the answer, not. The answer to number one, somebody said something else that also works. So I'll accept that one too. I was going for macaroni and cheesecake. Yay, we got but it. If you said Parmesan, macaroni, uh, Parmesan cheesecake is probably okay too because that fits Parmesan cheese and cheesecake. Right. Parmesan isn't really Except a pasta. technically not a pasta. pasta. Parmesan oh, cheese. Oh, not a pasta. Cool. I'm sorry. Never mind. Never mind. You're right. That doesn't count. Yeah, it's not pasta. Macaroni and cheesecake is the only answer. Then. <laughs> Someone okay. said it and I thought, I, did, I thought they were talking me into it. Number three and four. The answer is Elton John Denver. Oh, man. No wonder you said mine wasn't right. Yep, you had John. That's all you had. That doesn't count though because it's <laughs> not John, even worth one point. John doesn't count for either one of them. Well, Elton John Denver. Yeah, I had just the word John. Have? Right. We had. What did we have? I want to hear you say it, Susan. It was funny. I, I just erased it. John Wayne something. John Wayne and Wayne Newton. John Wayne Newton. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. That would have number been a good three, one, though. Uh, number number uh, four and five. Uh, I'm sorry, five and six John. is Yabba Dabba Doobie Brothers. Yes. Oh. What was the second? Do? Okay, for for answer, uh, it was Elton John and who? John, John Denver. Elton John Denver. John, John Denver. John Denver. You know, he was a famous Rainbow singer. Connection. I didn't. Elton John. Time. John Denver. <laughs> John is connected. Number seven eight Take is me home country road. Seven eight is Rodney King Tut. Mm-hmm. Number nine ten is Andrew Dice Clay Aiken. There we go. Rodney King and King Tut, you said, right? Rodney yep. King Tut, yep. Okay, and Yabba Dabba Do and then Doobie the Brothers. Doobie, okay. Yabba yeah. Dabba Doobie Brothers. And the bonus answer is Lenny <laughs> Bruce Lee Harvey Oswald. Very good. Yeah. Hey, we got eleven. Good job, team. <laughs> that was good. That was very good. Oh, Susan, can you please post, post more, more cat videos on TikTok for me, please? As you <laughs> yeah, not this moment, but yeah, I will. Macaroni and cheese. You have to look at my retreat. I, have about I did, 20, I did. There's, like, there's lots of cats video I saw. Them. <laughs> who knew that the, the in, interview, the internet would be filled up with cats? Who knew? Uh, who knew? Not, not the psychics. I can't imagine anybody psychics. would like cats. Oh, psychics. So all the mathematicians oh. out there are busy counting cat videos and expo- using exponentials and division. Oh, no, don't go back to that, please. <laughs> Susan, you're just embarrassing yourself. No, oh. Now, was this good for five only, or should I have done ten? Um, but oh, no, that was ten. Right, you would have, five was about oh, I right. Was good. Five is good. It was yeah, five two point is rather than yeah. ten. Ten, <laughs> ten would have been a little long. Ten would have been yeah. a little long. Five that's, that's, five that's, that's why like that's why I, I ran it through. But it was good. 
And like, you know what? Are good too. You should have gone a little bit harder on a couple because I think the score is going to be really high. Yeah, I know. But that was fun. I that almost didn't good. put two in the lobby. Yeah, but do a baby I almost left the Okay, no maximum hands. points are 10. It was still a fun category because yeah. it was something where you could work out the answer. It wasn't, you know, most yeah. of them are, you either know good it or job. you don't. And yeah. this one, yeah, you can work it out. Category. I like that Okay. Uh, I'm like the Colots conjecture. So yeah. <laughs> Kyle, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't poke the bear. <laughs> All right, let's go with futile, freedom, freedom men of the land, fiddle battle. What do you got? Oof. Try to bark. Ten. Oof. There you go. That's what I'm Big talking ten. about. I wanted you to feel like you're in the lead for a little bit. Lord Kelvin, Lord <laughs> Darwin. Sorry. And you could you could have done us first, so we felt like we're in the lead for this. Look at that! Second place! Woo! Woo. Yay! <laughs> well, let's just leave one. it there. This is the okay. Stop the count! Stop the <laughs> count! <laughs> God bless the Satanic Temple. Perfect score ten. Fear number two. All right. Fear number two. <laughs> Food, fluid dynamics. <laughs> That's so hard. Yeah. <laughs> uh, apparently it is. Apparently it is. Apparently it is. <laughs> that was the point. <laughs> we should always phonetically spell everything. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. Ah, so quick clarification: ah. Was the bonus only worth one point? Yes. yes. Only one okay. point. Nine. Got it. So we got nine. And that's oh. which story. one did you miss? We did Green John Ford. Wayne and Wayne. Oh, uh, right. John yeah. Wayne Nelton. John Denver. John or whatever, whatever it was. Matrix res Resurrections. Res re 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, we had uh, nine. Wow. Which one did you guys miss? Uh, Clay Aiken. Clay Aiken, yeah. Well, there you and go. Enterprise we have Billy. somebody, two groups that have hit the 20s. Maximum score on this round is oh, 30. Stop, stop. Mike, didn't we have nine plus the bonus? No, no we had eight plus because we didn't get either Clay Aiken or Andrew Dice Clay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Very it's, good. So let's have do... an odd number without the bonus. Yeah, because the bonus was only worth one point. All right. So. I'm going to pause for a second here. And uh, Kyle, what do you, you got? Have an odd number if you knew Davis Elton Captain. John, but not John Denver's name. Well, this week we've got out an episode right. on yet another time series algorithm called Mini Rocket. So, anybody interested in very fast time series solutions, I got what you're looking for on Data Skeptic. How about math? <laughs> I'm sure that Susan's really eager to listen to that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. Richard Saunders, you got anything happening that doesn't involve math? Uh, no. Uh, well, as it happens. <laughs> okay, coming up on the next episode of the Skeptic Zone podcast, which will be 675 on the 12th of September, we're going to investigate a real whack job, a real far gone nut in the state of Oregon by the name of Brian Dunning, who has a Bigfoot now installed in his yard. Oh. And he's also going to tell us about his new documentary and some of the trials and tribulations to do with that. We have Adrian Hill, who is here or not? No, she's, no, not she's the one who vetted my questions. Adrian's going to be telling us about news from Australian skeptics this week. And then we're going to be looking at historical references to psychics and spoons in the Australian news archives. Because <laughs> they always go to And there's some very interesting and unpredictable results come back from that. And we're winding up the show with a new hit song by Nathan Eggins called Quack. What Sound Does a Duck Make? Quack. Quack. Mm. I'm on that. You guys listen and to And Su Susan's on that. All that coming up on the Skeptic Zone podcast <laughs> at skepticzone.tv. Very good. Very good. Uh, um, I also want to mention that um, I have a podcast coming out for Paranormal Podcast. It is a paranormal group. 
in the Philippines that recorded me. And I think it was one of my best interviews, but I haven't heard it yet. So I will let you guys know what that is pretty soon coming up because it was very interesting talking about Operation Onion Ring to a group in the Philippines that is a paranormal group. It was fun. The questions were great. They asked were so different. And also I'm doing a little podcast called Ono, oh Ross and Carrie. It's just like, you know, nobody's heard of it. I know. Oh, it's what's about, the topic? Uh, Operation Onion Ring. Nice. So that, that won't be out for a few weeks. So something like that. And <laughs> uh, Isabella's not here right now, but I, I'm looking forward to what she's going to say. She, she asked for people to send her anything you wanted to send her to her, her um dorm room that would be a care package thing she doesn't care if it's a feather or a letter or anything but i sent i sent a picture to her and rob's i yeah so and i've got some stuff going to her but it won't be out until the next thing so i think it'd be kind of it, oh, yeah. be fun yeah and then we also have to record one really important thing we have a birthday yesterday for jeff so i want to make sure we all give jeff a nice happy birthday um, you know, tri social trivia style where we all sing on Zoom. <laughs> oh, and that never works. Whatever, it, whatever, whatever key you want, and whatever <laughs> speed you want, and and our best. Whatever melody you want. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> what oh, you want. oh, here comes Isabella just in time to sing. You're gonna to get that. your video taken down. <laughs> this is to Jim. Susan, is this to Jim? No, it's to Jeff. To Jeff, okay. Hi. Okay, Great. wait, wait. Isabella's signing in right now, so let's wait for a second for her to get here so we can sing happy birthday to Everybody Jeff. get your kazoos. Oh, I have kazoos, but they're probably... Alan, do you have like a musical instrument you could play? I have a thermometer here. I have... <laughs> You're on mute, Alan. I got to get some spoons, maybe. Oh, I've got, I had I've a, got a I had stapler a comb, remover. I don't, I, don't, I don't know where it went. I can use my stapler remover for my sound. Isabella, hurry up. Are you there? I'm going to go get a I'm couple here. of spoons. I'm like getting stuff. Okay, well, we're going to sing happy birthday to Jeff. Okay. All right, everybody. <laughs> happy oh, birthday, birthday to you. <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday to <laughs> you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to Jeff. Happy birthday to you. You even made the dog howl. Oh, He said, Happy birthday to you. He says, No, he says, My ears. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. That was a little, a little bit more in sync. Let's do the birthday, Jeff. Happy birthday! Thank you. And it wasn't us. It wasn't. Okay, Isabella. 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 Where in the heck are you? Get back in the frame. Happy birthday to you. So Isabella, we went. Happy birthday to you. Isabella, you were you were badly needed in the first round oh my God. Your name was if you heard your voice if you heard your, your ears were burning ears oh my God. Burning, it was because we were there was many of us that were badly wishing you were here it was rappers real names we had oh, to I, I i'm not good at that though oh okay good then. <laughs> i don't listen to rap well you, you might have known some so you guys we, listen to country rap no it's called that. rap Crap. <laughs> well, I don't know if you guys heard, but um, Kanye West changed his name to Yee. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, you saw that. Yeah, you saw that. Heard that. Yee. 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 He just, just covered the, the Con Z. part. The Ye, Kanye. He is, he huh? is Ye oh. West. Oh, as yes. in the olden oh. times. Oh, God. Yeah. Isabella. He is, uh, I need attention, so I'm going to change my name. Yeah. Uh -huh. Isabella, we were saying that you had put a pitch out for care packages and i've heard you received at least one and we were hoping you would tell us just one oh uh, yeah i've only received one so far um so nobody Rob's say anything else about anything else okay and i've actually been um quizzing my roommate's boyfriend on this a lot and 
I'm just gonna start now. This book is like amazing. Okay, like <laughs> the categories in this, like we have categories on like there's a few punch and beauty categories in here. <laughs> <laughs> like um here. There's one on um Punch and Judy? No, well there's That's one page about two. like Oh, there's page a couple, two is Punch and Judy. There's a couple space ones. We have quizzes about like the South Pole. Um Charles Dickens Mountains volcanoes so so isabella's gonna have quite a repertoire yep. oh yeah no i'm like i'm set for life <laughs> rob probably has that book too though who so does yeah. Yeah. Rob's there's even a category on climate change Ooh. Hmm. Wow, is there an angelology a which is our second category today you angelology? should do a random one where you just flip open the page i think i might i might do that one day and, and do 10 different questions from 10 different, 10 different pages. Oh my mm -hmm. gosh. And then say it's a mystery category. And then at the very end, we're supposed to guess what it is. And the mystery is they were all questions from your book. <laughs> the problem is a lot of these are like 20 cat, like 20 questions. You just need one from each page. Oh, good. That'd be fine. You come up there are different, there's different categories. Like you could say, bits. pick a number between one and a hundred, and I'll say 50. You turn to page 50. And, yeah. pick, and then say pick a number between one and 25 and someone oh, says 20 kind of and you pick the that, 20th one down that, you know yeah, what I mean? that's a good idea i like that, that would actually be fun and random I'm use that. totally random like no one would, know. Fact, would do if you don't have the yeah. answers on the page you could play it too you know, the back that, page the back like 50 pages is just answers there you oh, go so you could, you could play along yeah no it's honest. perfect that is fun that's a fun <laughs> idea Isabella, I have a question on your address. Mm -hmm. So there's no punctuation. Oh, yeah, there is after Avenue. So it's at Lassen Hall. What's your room number? Is it Lassen Hall room 501? Go on YouTube, guys. One six. Or is it? Huh? Yeah, we're recording this. It's going to be on YouTube. This is being recorded. Care. So it's. Um, doesn't really matter. Okay. Okay. It's, in the, it's posted it's in, the in the chat. You can get a whole it's bunch of care packages. Yeah. So that's literally how you write it. It's last in the hall 105 Citrus Avenue, number 16. Chat. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's literally chat. it. Yeah. All right. Good job, guys. Thank you for joining us, Isabella. So we've got one more category. It's going to be Jim Preston. Remember, oh, it's the holes were nice. And then we're going to do Isabella's category, which is bonus. I'm super excited for this one. Are you using the book? Mm, I don't know. We'll see. Oh. <laughs> Are we going to get Isabella on our team? Isabella is on the lowest. The the no, she's on the fifth team. That's us. Yep. We get Isabella. I don't know mm. who's, who's what? us. What? And can we ask is Isabella's on, on, on team five? Was. Aren't we in last place? But she no. was placed on that team at the beginning. Yeah, oh. she's doing on around. team five. You're on the oh, Matrix oh, oh. Resurrections. Sounds good. You're in second place. Isabella, okay. do you know who Tariq Trotter is? No, I don't. Do you know who Dennis Coles is? No. Rappers. Talib Green. You already said she doesn't no. know. No. Um, Aubrey Olivia Graham. Newton John. En enough. Enough. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. I, I feel so much better now. Now knowing that <laughs> I don't listen to rap. I, I believe good Jim has the podium. Wouldn't have helped us. All right, Jim. All right. Okay. Mute. Can everybody hear me? Please mute. I'm muting yeah. everyone in three. We got you, Jim. Two, one. All right. So the category is the life and times of Carl Sagan. Oh. Um, everything in this quiz was taken from Carl Sagan's Wikipedia page. Ooh. So if anything turns out to be wrong, you guys all know how to fix it. <laughs> okay. All right, so I'll be posting them in the chat as I go. Question number one, when was Carl Sagan born? Month, day, and year. Oh, geez. Number two, as a child, Sagan visited the 1939 New York World's Fair. He wrote, quote, plainly the world had wonders of a kind I had never guessed. How could a tone become a picture and light become a noise? 
Uh, that was in reference to exhibits featuring two electronic devices. Name either one of those devices. Question number three, what was the title of Sagan's PhD thesis? Number four, in 1958, Sagan worked on Project A-119, which was a top secret Air Force plan to detonate a nuclear bomb on the moon. Yeah. Uh, the next year, Sagan revealed US government classified titles of two of the Project 119 papers when he applied uh, for a University of California Berkeley scholarship. In what year was this leak first publicly revealed? And I'll give you plus or minus five years on that one. Question number five. In the early 80s, Sagan began promoting a controversial hypothesis for which he received a lot of skepticism and disdain. Uh, I quote from his Wikipedia page, biographers of Sagan would also comment that from a scientific viewpoint, this hypothesis was a low point for Sagan. What was the hypothesis? Number six, a friend of Sagan's who is, was pretty famous in his own right, once described Sagan as one of only two people he ever met whose intellect surpassed his own. The other was the computer scientist and artificial intelligence expert, Marvin Minsky. Who was this friend? Number seven, Sagan was a user and advocate of marijuana. He contributed an essay about smoking cannabis to the 1971 book, Marijuana Reconsidered, in which he explained that marijuana use had helped to inspire some of his works and enhance sensual and intellectual experiences. Under what pseudonym uh, did he publish this essay? Question number eight, which of Sagan's books won him a Pulitzer Prize in 1977. Number nine, what is the name of Sagan's book that is considered to be a sequel to Cosmos? And finally, number 10, prior to joining the faculty at Cornell University, Sagan was an assistant professor at what university until he was denied tenure there in 1968? All right, any questions? No, I think that's self-explanatory. All right. Okay, good job. All right, I've given you your power, special superpowers. And let's have, uh, and Isabella goes in group five, which is the matrix. All right. Let's go, have fun. Go for it. Okay. I gotta read these over again because I was so I don't know his birthday. Do you guys know his birthday? Is it some name that we should know? Is it February 2nd? No. Groundhog's Day? Uh, oh, I don't know. I don't think like so. it's something that is Groundhog's Day or something that falls on another day that well, we would know. One, one out of 365 and a quarter chance. Um, it, it feels like it's that. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, you had Avi on your team. Okay, so that's where the other person's missing. Um, what year would it be? Well, if he was a child in 1939, and he died kind of young. He like, was like 48 or something like that, 52 yeah. or something. In the when, like. <sighs> so my lifetime. Duh. Um, yeah, right. But I don't remember. I didn't know him at the time. So it was before the 2000s. Yeah. I think he was probably born in 1930. Well, he couldn't have been. He couldn't have been too young. I mean, like if he was born in 1930, he would have been nine. Um, 
maybe he was precocious Seven. enough to appreciate something like that at age nine. I don't know. Yeah. Um, okay, let's move on because I think it's just going to be a guess at this point. Yeah, right. But I vaguely think his birthday is on a day that you remember because it's something like awesome. Christmas or Thanksgiving. Yeah, or but it like seems that. like it's at the beginning of the year and it's not Darwin Day. No. But it's something like that. But oh, I, I could be wrong. Valentine's Day, maybe? It was it's possible. Yeah, that was when okay. Oregon became. That's right, huh? Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> As a child, he visited. <laughs> He wrote plainly the oh, word. That question comes up again. I've got a tone become a picture and light become a noise. Um, Electronic devices. Nineteen thirty. What's the thing that, like, when you make the sound, it makes like a little wave thing? Oscilloscope. Oscilloscope. Yeah. That makes this light become a noise. No, that. A tone becomes, becomes a, a picture. picture. Right. So, know. what would be a light that become a noise? Unless you think it's for it's sure it's the other one. Okay. The okay. The title of Tar Sagan's PhD. I have no idea. Do you guys know? I wish I worked on his Wikipedia page. No. Uh, <laughs> Project A. No idea. Um, that needed. Okay. Here's a leak for, okay. First, I thought it said, as a child, he worked on a project that <laughs> <laughs> to detonate a nuclear bomb on the moon. 1958. So he had to have been at least in his 20s, right? So that would that would make mean he was born in the late 1920s, right? No, or 1930. Well, see, 1930. See, he was born in 19. He had his PhD probably by the time he. Yeah, so so if he was born, like for instance, just working backwards, if he was born in 1930, 40, he would have only been what 28 then? That's surely for your PhD. 28? Well, it's pretty early, but he was pretty smart. So um okay, so and then what year was this leak first publicly revealed? I think it wasn't that long ago because they didn't they don't like give out I don't remember it. I don't either, but it was a leak, so it wasn't like they released it. Oh, it was publicly revealed. So he leaked it to he leaked it then, right? He re, the next year, so 1959, he revealed this classified information, but it was in his and nobody application. Really so noticed. Who, yeah, the only people who saw it were the people who read the application, and they probably went, "Oh, oh." we have to we can't show this to anybody so but then eventually somebody did find it right reveal it but i bet it was not that long ago the 90s yeah after he died. maybe after he died yeah so but, um, either that or like during the heavy anti-nuclear stuff where they're like see see he he did he did this thing and and stuff so hmm Okay, question. If we got plus or minus five, do you want to just say 1990? Yeah, that'd be fine. 95 to 85, yeah. So on question five, the controversial hypothesis, I believe, was little that there's life on other planets. Mm, or even here, huh? No, I think it was that there's life on other planets. I, other I vaguely planets. remember this. Okay. Unless you guys have a better answer. Don't trust anything from me. I came up with Wayne Newton and and, <laughs> and uh, John Wayne on the last one. That was I'm so one. happy. And then and Kevin said, "Oh, that's the most funniest answer I've seen of all of them." So now that was one of the ones I knew. <laughs> so let's see. Well, I don't think saying that there's life on other planets is would have been a low point. I mean, I think that people, unless he said it in a sense that it, like he really believed it, you know, well, this is back in his lifetime, the early 80s. So I would think that it was kind of like, oh, come on, give me a break. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. Because, yeah, because he was saying, well, there's there's probably this many planets and then so many of them would be in the in the Goldilocks zone. And so therefore. Right. You know, life most likely 
did uh, arise, you know, on a bunch of other planets. Right. I've heard him, I've heard him um, lay okay. it all out. All right. Letter. So his friend, who was? I'm thinking friend? of Feynman. Feynman. I think you're right. First, I was thinking Tyson, but no, I think it's Feynman. I, I was Tyson thinking, would never say that about himself. I, I was thinking Gardner, but I was thinking that I was trying to remember Feynman. I couldn't remember his name. I, I think you're right. Okay. And I do have no idea what his pseudonym would have been on an essay about marijuana. I, if I've heard it, I don't remember it. Unless it's something goofy, and I'm I'm not clever enough to come up with anything. Yeah, yeah, I have no idea. Bob, have any idea? We could come up with a chicken name. <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, Doobie McDoobie Face. <laughs> Doobie McCluck Face. <laughs> Uh, Mc, Mc, McDoobie Mc, what is it Mc, how do you say those things with the, with the boats Bodie McBoat face yeah so Mc, Doobie McDoob face Doobie Miss, I don't know I, I'm yeah. not that funny okay. okay what book was his Pulitzer Prize um, I was thinking Pale Blue Dot but then on question nine I think that might have been the sequel I think yeah I think that is but what about Demon Haunted World Possibly. You don't think that it was contact. No, he oh, didn't yeah. get a Pulitzer for contact. Contact might have won other awards, but I think it was a novel. Yeah. Right? So yeah. would have got a Pulitzer. Pale blue dot. Do you think that felt followed Cosmos? Sounds like it. It sounds like it could. I don't know. I haven't really read all, uh, very much of his stuff. And I certainly didn't read him in order. I I Cosmos I've read. It's terrific. I mean, not Cosmos, then, um, um, Contact, absolutely fantastic book, as well Cosmos as- Cosmos come out uh, before the series? Yeah, because they, they based it on it. Um, so when was that? I Late, that was, the, somewhere in the 70s. Yeah. And Pale Blue Dot is a more recent, I think it was like in the 80s. Maybe even Pale Blue Dot possibly came out after his death, I'm not sure. That could be, huh? It's a much more recent. Yeah, his wife could have published it. Yeah, it was a really beautiful photograph and it mm -hmm. was later. I think it was like more recent photograph that was taken. Mm. So I would guess that the book that came after Cosmos was Pell Blue Dot and the Pulitzer Prize book. Do you think, I don't think it would be Demon Hot and World, would it? No, I don't know. How about Cosmos? Mm -hmm. Well, that's why I was asking about when, when the series came out. Yeah, the only way I, reason I'm came thinking out together. If they came out together, then yeah, maybe Cosmos was. And it Except might. Except the name off Cosmos. The answer in the next <clears throat> question. But yeah. The you know? I have no so idea. I, I would take a stab at Cosmos. I don't know. I don't know. So for eight, I heard him. Uh, I heard him speak in 1995. Oh man, jealous! Where was he at? Well, it was a, our university was uh, chartered in 1995, 1895. So there was a like a ten year, a five year celebration from the time it was chartered till the time it opened. So it's, everything kicked off in 1995 on the 100th anniversary, and they had a convocation. All the, all the faculty was in their academic uh, robes, and then he was the keynote speaker. Oh, so, so he was alive still in 95. So how much longer after do you think he was alive? I don't remember. Was it like um, within a couple of years he died after you saw him? I mean, like, that's something you might remember. No, I don't remember. And I don't remember too much of what he said, but he, he was talking about bonobos. And in 1995, I had no idea what he was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in 95, he's still alive. Let's say he makes it to 97. And I thought he was maybe in his early 60s when he died. So maybe. in 97... How old would he be if he was 65? 
Mm. Don't make me do math because you know how I do math. <laughs> 95. Okay, so it'd be five off of 100. So 100 minus 60. So 40. No, that seems like he would be in his 40s. I mean, born in 1940s, and that can't be right. No, because he was 39. Down. He was at the yeah. World's Fair. Right. So he was born about 30, you think? It would have been 65 and 95. Yeah, he must have died right after because I don't think, I know he didn't make it to his 70s. And I don't think his wife, Anne, was that much younger. She was younger, but not like 20 years younger or anything. And she's still raring and going. I think she's probably only maybe, maybe 80 now. So. I would say he was born er, February 2nd, 1930. And I'm just guessing. It doesn't feel right. I don't know. What do you guys think? Valentine's Day? <laughs> 1929? 1932? <laughs> oh, oh, here was the 10. Prior to joining the bathroom. So he's probably denied tenure because of his marijuana use. So some oh, stuffy university. Wouldn't apply for a scholarship at Berkeley. It wouldn't be Berkeley for marijuana use. I don't know. It depends on how public he was about it, I guess. Well, he used some phony Mc, Mc, McJoint face. <laughs> 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 Deborah. you make me laugh and then I laugh. Um, <laughs> you laugh and then I laugh. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, what university was it? Nine tenure. I thought he was at. He went where? Maybe it's Harvard. Uh, I think he went to Harvard. Maybe, maybe MIT it's or Because Neil deGrasse Tyson was the was his. Uh, was in his class oh yeah yeah and he was at harvard i don't know where did where did uh, tyson go was he at cornell i think he was probably at cornell i don't know anything about universities don't don't trust anything i say just <laughs> i'm here for well listen he went to cornell from somewhere else yeah so, so what stuffy university would have said now nah, we'll pass on you well, it had to be someplace pretty good, but that's, there's a lot of those. I mean, there's, you know, MIT, there's some universities, other universities in New York City. Um, you know, I, yeah, I don't know, Yale. <laughs> I mean, where would Neil deGrasse Tyson have gone to college? I, it might've been Cornell. But, oh, my but that, after. That, well, I guess maybe afterwards. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. Um, 1968. That was the height of all the stuff. Well, maybe he went to Santa Cruz. <laughs> they wouldn't have thrown him out. Yeah. You know, in 1968, it was. Santa Cruz? They'd have been like peace. I don't think, actually, I don't think they were actually open yet then. <laughs> But but Berkeley was uh, San Francisco State. Um, there's also you're picking California schools. Is there a reason? Because I know the names of more of them. Oh, I thought he was. You know, I thought you had some clues. Uh, University of oh. Chicago. <laughs> I thought he was an East Coast kind of thing. Well, possibly, yeah. Um, Dartmouth, uh, Georgetown, yeah, William, yeah. William and Mary. Yeah, I'm thinking like some kind of more like an Ivy League kind of school. I I, I just Notre Dame. Yale, there's Yale. Notre Dame. Yeah. Har Harvard is what came to mind, and I don't know why. Because I don't know a lot about universities. Did you guys see my screen behind me? He's moving. <laughs> is there a cat back there? She's been sleeping back there. That's her spot now, is the hey, kind of curtain. Yeah. Susan, I forgot where it is that I broadcast a message to all the rooms. Oh, at the bottom of something. Let's see. Oh, oh uh, if you go to my breakout room. rooms. Yeah, I found it. Okay. Thanks. Uh, 
Well, do you um, want to say Harvard then? I don't care. That's what came to mind. I don't know, Bob, what do you think? I, I, um, okay, so what do we, what do we need answers for? Uh, well, three and seven for sure. Well, oh, one, you're going with my answer. Sure. What was the title of Sagan's PhD thesis? The PhD thesis tend to be like, you know, Daily Mail titles. They're like really long and complicated. Yeah. <laughs> and and I heard I heard just a day or so ago that you never pick your thesis title something that you would like to eventually name something. So he would never have come up with pale blue dot or demon no, no, no. world. It would, would be, never do no. that. It would be a study of this size planets that are this far away from something else that have planetary this... movement to the nth power. Yeah, it would be like some like really. Oh, stupid. it's that stupid thing that he was that. What is it? The mathematical formulation that. Literally... Yeah, it was. A, yeah, it was. A... That's it. That's it. I don't <laughs> Cornell, you, Cornell thing they were calling it. I don't know. It, it really, you guys, come on now. <laughs> Seriously, you got to see this thing. It's all right. Yeah. It says we have 50, 54 seconds. Okay, three, and what like, was the other one? And seven, the um, marijuana thing. His, oh, his, his name. Pseudonym. Mm. Doki Mc, Doobie, Doobie Doki brother. Brother. The Doobie brother. <laughs> Doobie McDoobie face. Doobie Mc... Carl What's McDoobie. The, What is that Grateful Dead guy? Um, Jerry Garcia? Jerry Garcia, yeah. <laughs> Whatever you put, Deborah, is fine. Uh, and then that's the only one? How about Jack Frost? <laughs> Very good. I think it's Jack Frost. That is the perfect answer. <laughs> <laughs> um, there. Good. We have something, right? Uh, and and three. PhD title would be uh, uh, yes. <laughs> Who knew? Oh, that was some hard ones, Jim. All right. Hard ones in there. So speaking of which, before I give the answers, there's a couple things I wanted to say. Number one is, yes, I know that some of them were very hard and very obscure. Um, part of why I did that was just for the educational benefit that you yeah. know, maybe people will learn things they didn't know about Sagan. Yeah, that's good. Um, as far as his birthday, um, I didn't realize that that one would be so hard. Would there be any objections if I changed the, the requirement to uh, just the year? That'd be fine. We're okay with, with that. that. Yes. Okay Only if that. we got it exactly right. right. What if oh, we no, had the date? Exactly right. If anybody had the day exactly and month, right, I got not I, the, the, the date was easy. The, the year was the hard part. Oh, man. Wait, the date was easy. The year was the hard part? Yeah, because Carl yes, Sagan I, Day. Yes. Okay, well, that's kind of why I thought it wouldn't be that difficult, but um, I so can't. You so can do either on or. Carl Sagan Day. You just put that down. You want to do the year? I did just given do the year. On Carl Sagan Day, so I knew so, it was November ninth. So, yeah, so either, either, either one, the yeah. year oh, plus or minus five, okay. right? No, no, just do the year. The day, the month, or the year. Plus or minus two would be all okay. right. Let Jim decide. Okay. Um, I I kind of wanted a consensus from you guys. If if I mean if no some no, people, no you you call it man you call if some it. if some people I, yeah. think that they that they really got the whole thing. I think the year makes more year, sense. Then we, then well, I they got the like whole that. thing. They got the year. So uh, how about if you got it exactly right? It can be a bonus point if you miss something else. <laughs> But there, but there are only 10 questions. So that doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. work. Well, if okay, somebody I'm, got it exactly right and the rest of us didn't, it's not well, fair to that person. Wh that's why don't we so find gonna, out? Yeah. Why don't we find out? Yeah, I think exactly you just right. do the year. I'm and if somebody got the month and day, that's fine. They got no, the I'm going to leave day. it with with uh, with month, day, year is the correct answer. All right. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'm happy. yeah that's good. a good question. That's the, yep. All right. So here come the answers. Number one, and I'm in, I will be posting these in the chat as I go, just because it last time it sounded like people didn't um, exactly didn't quite know that I was doing that. So um, if you want to read along, I'll be posting these in the chat. Okay. So so the answer to number one is November 9th, nineteen thirty four. 
Oh, we got the right month. Oh, okay, so we now we now contend that it should be the have to be the exact uh, date. Uh, yeah, we. I said it should. It needs to be the exact date. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nailed it by luck. Question <laughs> number two. No, Question number two was either the photoelectric cell or the oscilloscope. Another quote from uh, Wikipedia that, to finish that off. At other exhibits, he remembered how a flashlight that shone on a photoelectric cell created a crackling sound and how the sound from a tuning fork became a wave mm. on an oscilloscope. Ah. Yay, Mano. Mm. Never thought of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, question that number one. three, which I guess uh, nobody actually got. Um, physical studies of the planets. Although to be extremely nitpicky, um, it's, uh, there, there's a mistake on the actual w, uh, Wikipedia page which says that it's physical studies of planets, but when you link to his actual thesis, it's physical studies of the planet. So I was well, gonna Jim, say- you can edit, go for it. Would you accept yeah. planet of that's, the apes? That's pretty good. <laughs> planet of the apes? I, I was and actually gonna, gonna, when I heard that so many people were having, you know, thinking that this was a-, a oh, I'm actually editing the page question. as we speak. Tell me, the, tell me the correct answer. So I don't have to look at the citation. Uh, the correct answer is physical studies of the planets or physical studies of planets. No, but which is the way that it's right? I'm changing. Oh, the, Wikipedia. the, the correct on his actual thesis, yeah. it's physical <sighs> studies of the planets. Okay, I'm just adding the. Thank you. Okay. Um, and the. I, I was going to oh, try to not. be generous on this one. If if a team got somewhere close to, you know, like having the word study and planets in there, um, but I'll Kind of leave that up to you. I don't think yeah, stick your guns. It's, it's fine. It's okay. fine. <laughs> okay. Number four. The year was 1999 in ah. the journal Nature. Ah. Uh, um, a few years margin? after his death. Uh, my years. margin was plus or minus five years. So a point. Okay. Yay, we get a point. Wait, wait, what was the year? 1999. 99. And I did not look up to see what the context was. Oh, we got that right. How this was revealed, but um, we got that right. Why'd Richard groan? Yeah, I was, so he's a groaner. Because I didn't think I thought we had another year, so I'm, I, I will grown up. Grown. We wrote 1995. Grown up. Oh, grown up. Grown up. <laughs> okay, number five. Nuclear winter. Yes. I was wrong. Richard. It was very controversial because Sagan championed oh, this man. idea Sorry, that a nuclear team. war would spread smoke everywhere and plunge the earth into nuclear winter. And other scientists I said, said no, you're I wrong. said something else. I said Mary. we wouldn't have come up with that other thing in there, so. <laughs> Yep. So, but it, it, he, I, I think he was fairly well known at least at the time. Um, for, for being a strong supporter of the nuclear winter hypothesis. Okay, number six. I, I, I'm pretty sure I saw at least one team got this right. The answer is Isaac Asimov. Yes. Oh, yeah. man. Science and science fiction writer. We said Feynman. I should have known better. That just jumped out of my brain for some reason. Number seven, his pseudonym was the um, in, in, in incredibly inventive and creative Mr. X. <laughs> <laughs> we said McBody McBake boat face or something. <laughs> oh, we said McDoobie McDoob face. We had Fred Belitnikoff. <laughs> I'm sorry, those and, are not uh, close enough. Would, uh, How about Ms. X? Ms. We X. You copy and... Benjamin no. Franklin and use Richard Saunders. That's what we had. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Number eight. The Dragons of Eden. Oh, oh no! We had that. Oh no, we didn't have that. Oh, we changed it to oh, broke his brain. Oh, you had it and changed it. Oh, we, we had, had it. Didn't even think. All right, it. number nine was pale blue dot. A vision hey. of the human oh, oh, right. space. And just before there are any questions, no, I am not requiring the subtitle. If you just had pale blue dot, that's fine. Good. That's correct. 
Doesn't matter. We need number a- number ten. <laughs> Susan, I actually heard Susan talking about the right answer, but I think her team ended up talking her out of it. Number ten is Harvard. Oh no, we went back to that. Oh, <laughs> good. Oh, good. <laughs> well, it's not because I had any smarts on it. It's just like I know almost no colleges. Well, we just Harvard. sort of went. Well, okay, sure. Harvard is a college, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that is it. Very good, good. And you know what? We should all be re- have read Carl Sagan's Wikipedia page from top to bottom. Thank you. <laughs> hey, did you did you notice that my my skeptical inquirer interview with his uh, widow is uh, cited on the page? Well, oh, of course. Did you, Jim? Did you? I think I may have noticed how come, that. How come you didn't ask any questions about the time he kidnapped Avogadro's hypothesis? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> or that other one. Jim, for number three, will you accept that we knew he was a planetary scientist? Mm. <laughs> um, not, no. from, not from Leonard. Not quite close enough. Leonard should have it memorized. He should do have it as a beat. Yeah, I expected Leonard to Leonard rattle to that like, one off. And the planetary I barely science. remember like the rapper. name. I barely remember the title of my thesis. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you say that. Yeah, I want to see the rap from Leonard Jamela. Tramel. Oh, sorry, El Tramel. El Tramel. No, that will be his name. El Tramel. L. The big L. The big L. <laughs> hey, hey, Susan, I've Trill. lost weight. Be Trill nice. is a rap word. So it'd El Trey. El Trey. Oh, rapper name would be Lil Levin. <laughs> no, it'd be it'd be Trill. It'd be Tramel. Oh, I'm not telling you right t- now. My team. I'm going to take a call. Lil I'll tea. see you back in the in the in our room in a minute. Okay. Okay. Dr. T. Dr. T. All right. Good questions. I'm glad they made me have to I remember anything. I felt so silly. Got All right. Good so job. Fun. We're going to go over and take a looky look look, a looky McLook face. <laughs> and let's see how we're doing over here. So um, Arrow. Uh, let's start with uh, the Darwin's theory being killed. What? Lord Kelvin. Lord oh, Kelvin. Four. Okay. God bless the Satanic Temple. Six. Oh. Mm-hmm. Ooh, dynamics. Zero. No. no. Zero. Really? What? Ow. No. We had Dragons student X, not Mr. Wow. X. Yeah. Yeah, Ms. X. Student Hold on X. Hold a minute, Carl. Did Student you give X. us credit for getting 1934 in one? Uh, he said exact date. No, exactly. Yeah, he said exact yeah, date. I went back to the exact date. Sorry. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Uh, freedom of the free men of the land. Three. And that would be my score too. Three, you guys. The F F F F is what they are, and the Matrix. Mike. What? Mike. Four. Ooh, that was tough. So, do we see anything massive happen here? Uh, this one went down a bunch. Oh. oh Those damn Satanists are really taking off. Yeah. There I wonder if you guys would have thought that the score would be <laughs> that high. Twenty-seven. Wow, we should be at forty is the possible score. So. We have God on our side. (laughs) (laughs) That's really hard. Okay. I'll give you my score for the night. I don't hate Kevin. I don't hate Kevin. (laughs) Kevin's the one that gave you the points, huh? Yeah, I I have two magic words for people writing categories. Multiple choice. No, I don't like multiple choice. No, multiple. I do not like multiple choice. I don't like multiple choice. All right, I'm going to remember that the next time I do a category. You You can answer it in a scantron. It doesn't. I especially especially don't like true or false. I'm going to remember that. uh, Multiple choice or two. I'm okay with multiple choice, Rob. If you do true or false, it can be a few, but not the whole thing. Well, it turns out the Colot's conjecture might not be true or false. It could be <laughs> undecidable. <laughs> do multiple Somebody choice. Knew. Don't do yeah. all multiple choice. Kyle, you, you know? don't, don't. Just don't. Okay, where's Isabella? Uh-oh. 
Development uh -oh. development. Okay. Hey, people watching, people what uh, in America? Does this make any sense to you? This headline that's just popped up. I not see it. Gross demand. What's his, what's his gross demand? Well, that everybody be vaccinated. Pretty much everybody's getting oh, vaccinated. That's the source. I don't think that, is that a Fox heard. News headline. This is this has just come up on one of the news. Labeled services. the dictator. Is, is, is this just terrifying? Yeah, that that, that makes world. perfect sense. Yeah. That's exactly what I expected. What? Yeah. I, I expected that the, that the that the right wing would call this oh. terrifying and well, the gross to me is yeah. 144. So I mean, it's just yeah. stupid. What was 144 what? about? What he said? What? 144 <laughs> is a gross. Are Come you on. trying to do math again? Yeah. Susan, oh, she's not making Susan, this Susan, up. Susan, don't, don't math. Don't don't do math. I think we need to talk about the more important. <laughs> Wait, uh, you know nice, I nice T-shirt. Yeah, that's why I was just going to bring up. Cat, Leonard. Cat that's people, what we need to be talking about. Women, Richard's tweet T-shirt. Crazy cat ladies <laughs> don't do I, math because then they don't have to count how many cats they have. I played right. many mm -hmm. games and wrote many school papers on a Commodore 64. I did a bio, my biology paper once in high school, and I used a Commodore 64 to show how RNA and DNA worked, and I got 100%. Awesome. Yeah, because my teacher happened to have a Commodore 64, and I was... This was mm -hmm. 1983 or 1984, and I gave him my assignment on a on a floppy, on a cassette. A cassette, on a cassette. Yeah. Oh, yeah, cassette. Oh. Yep. I had Even the cassette adapter for right. my Commodore. 64. I hated using cassette on computers. Oh, like, okay, I had to write. Come uh, back in about a half hour. I'm going to be able yep. to play for all. Oh, yeah. I, I remember. <laughs> I remember loading the cassette and then going and having dinner. And then coming back and it and it almost being done. But but then I learned the trick that the cassette, when you loaded a program from a cassette, it played the it played the program twice. And if you knew when to stop it and you put it in a peek or a poke, you could actually run the program. Yeah, peek oh, and poke. Nice. I used to type that so much. <laughs> didn't have you didn't have cut and paste that back in those days. Yeah, I remember I, I had to save up. I saved up all my all my money, my allowance money to to buy my Commodore sixty four, and then I think my parents got me the floppy disk drive for my birthday. Ah, yeah. uh, you know, I still I, have my C sixty four. I started. I started we had video games for it. I don't I see Isabella. Is she on the? Where did Isabella go? I, I started on punch cards, and she was uh, there. Yeah, she was. Teletype. Do you see her on the list? She was all excited about doing the thing, too. Yeah, I just texted yeah. her not on the list. Oh, Richard, per your headline, I just yeah. got a flash on my phone from my Fox News app. Unconstitutional. Republicans vow to block sweeping COVID mandate as Biden declares war on the unvaccinated and maskless. We mm -hmm. want to die. We want to die. Kill people. I mean, God, give me a freaking break. What Isabella, is Isabella was having roommate problems or dorm problems. And that's why she dropped off. Word problems? Dorm. Dorm. dorm problems. Again, she moved to a dorm different dorm. dorm. Yeah, she did. Tonight, did she have dorm problems? I'm telling you what she said. This Tonight? is like fun golf golf opera. Her roommate was fine. Her new roommate is fine. They were having trouble with the people next door. Oh, um, so is yeah. she gone gone for the night? I don't, I don't know. She didn't say no. anything. Because if so, I'll have to come up with another. Uh, okay, let me grab a... Uh, 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 thing. A bonus. A bonus. I got a bonus right. one if you want one. I have a bonus one. <laughs> Let me have a bonus. Oh, my <laughs> oh yeah, C64. look at that Commodore 64. <laughs> That's it. That is my wonderful Commodore 64, probably the day or two after I bought it. Where's the awesome. monitor, the TV set, rather? You didn't unwrap it yet? Right there it is. There, there you go, the baby. Commander. Oh, what are you playing? Oh, no. oh, that is Super. a great TV. And, and the um, you can see the cassette Device. Yeah. I see the oh, yeah. right there. Mm -hmm. Cool. How about that? I'm playing Landa. That's cool. <laughs> what did I play? Oh was my it, gosh. Was it Hunt the Wumpus? Oh, the Wumpus World. I think I had something called Hunt the Wumpus. Yep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Val's got his box still. Earl's got the box. It's a Commodore 64 inside of it. Yep. That's the one yeah, I had. I, I got my storage C. underneath my. Steps. Oh, that's the 64C. Yeah, that's I had the, a 64C. I think that's the mod. That's the modern one. Yep. That that used to belong to uh, Ben's nephew. Okay, so well, I guess then it's probably mine, Carl, because he got his from me. Ah, well then that's Ben's. <laughs> give me my give me my computer. <laughs> <laughs> so I have one that belonged to Carl Sagan. 
<laughs> <laughs> so Kevin's already done a bonus, and Rob has a bonus. He says, "But I've got a, I've got a couple bonuses." And one of yours. Huh? To one of yours. Yeah, yeah we vote there. on which one. Tell no, me Susan, 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 Susan wants you in a while. Go for okay, it. Susan, go for it. We want right. Susan's. So oh, I Ooh. have this one is going to be the one we're going to do. All right, so I apologize to the group that is at the last. I don't even know the answers anyway. So here's the, here is the, the, the thing, and you guys may live to regret this. So yeah. baseball parks worldwide oh. by number of seats. Now let's do another. Let's do another <laughs> that's one. That's you, I think you should have said mine. Oh God, Definitely should have said mine, like, Richard. We gotta have this test. Like, I'm fine with this. this. Okay. Um, we are to the ball. It's, what are the cities? that have the biggest baseball parks judged by the amount of seats. Bam. Number of seats. Dedicated one, baseball parks, multi-use facilities. There's one around the corner. You wouldn't believe it. There you go. And worldwide. And do you mean what baseball stadiums? Do the you mean? Biggest base, well, but yeah, it would have to be. Baseball stadiums. Is this come active? down and you sit them. Or all You're time. You're talking about professional baseball, Major League Baseball in America, all worldwide. Like worldwide. Companies. Professional, college, amateur. Right, if it's right, college, correct. if it's professional, correct. whatever you say. Is this what, what is your source only? of answers? What is this active only or all time? Current. All time. Current. Will you, will you accept a city active. or you have well, to you have guys are something city. else? I remember why I've been having everybody else do the calculus well, right now. What is the question? <laughs> the source of your. Do you mind? There would be no questions. It's clear. Okay, listen. Not. Oh, yeah. Baseball mm -hmm. parks by capacity. So yeah. they are ordered by capacity, which is the maximum number of spectators the stadium can accom accommodate in a normal game. So if it's if it can be reconfigured from a football game to a baseball game. When it's set up as a baseball game, how many seats are in it? And you want the city. I want the city. And this is worldwide. Worldwide. Are we doing mono scoring? I <laughs> know. You guys will be fine. Go to your room. Have to be recovered. Yeah. You can do this. Come on now. Rob, what was your category? I'm just kidding. No, because he'll use it for today. <laughs> no, yeah, I will use it some other time. Oh, I'm up on my job now. 